This is a HeadGum Podcast. Cognitive dissonance is a theory in social psychology. It refers to the mental conflicts that occur when a person that occur that occurs when a person's behaviors and beliefs do not align. That's what's up. It may also happen when a person holds two beliefs that contradict one another. Mm. Today on XOXO Gossip Kings, <laughs> the age of dissonance. Yes. Now, wait a second. Oh, man. oh yeah, I got it right. The age of dissonance. What were you looking up? That's Webster's? Uh, that, was, that wasn't Webster's. That was... Uh, I ain't fucking with Webster no more. That was medical news today. <laughs> oh, what, man? <laughs> All right. Hey, I'm a free thinker. All right. Okay. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. I find my, I don't, I don't my sources the, anywhere. I don't go to the regular websites that y'all be on. Uh, yeah. I go to different websites. You don't like Wikipedia? You man, like, Wikipedia uh, is a liberal cuck machine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bullshit. You got Wikipedia? Are you on there yet? Am I on Wikipedia? Is Carl Tart, what they say? Let's see if I'm on Wikipedia. Carl Tart is a conservative, a conservative <laughs> Trump supporter. <laughs> uh, he he <laughs> led, led the resistance uh, in the Capitol. But uh, you know what's crazy though, like cognitive difference is an interesting mm-hmm. phrase for right now, and it, it, I feel like that's a very relevant term for yes. how we're living in this country. Yes, I got a, I got a uh, Wikipedia. Wikipedia. It's boring though. What does it say? You don't say shit. Carl Tart is an American actor, writer, and comedian. Tart is best American. known <laughs> for being a feature player on the 2016 Fox sketch show Party Over Here. I'm best known for that. <laughs> oh my god. A writer on Mad TV and a regular guest on the podcast Comedy Bang Bang. Oh my gosh. That shit needs to be updated. On a TV show. Yo, update. The, who <laughs> updates? Who makes that shit? Well, yeah, he is current. He currently stars in the NBC sitcom Grand Crew. Thank you so much. It does say it. Yeah, I oh, was okay. born in Mississippi and raised in Los Angeles. I didn't know true. that shit. Yeah, I know. Who, <laughs> I guess it's people like who listen to me talk about it. I've talked yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, like and he got the Mississippi tap. Yeah. Um. But it is weird, like really, it is like they really just are really getting me as a podcaster on here. Mm-hmm. People, y'all have to know that podcasting does not pay no money. <laughs> it is not. Yeah, I was not doing pod. I did not start in podcast. So what is Age of Innocence? Is that a play or something? Yeah, Age of Innocence is a play. It's a movie. It's all that type of stuff. But hold on, before we get into that, <laughs> Lamario. For those of you what? who don't know, Lamar's full name is Lamario. Yeah, I'm, I, uh, I come from Super Mario Brothers family. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, Lamario. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got first of all, Rochelle is here. Y'all know her. You love her. She is over. She's gonna be reading M Joy all day, so she won't be able to. <laughs> yeah. to uh, We're gonna have to do it in live, a live reading of M Joy. Uh, <laughs> we have two extremely special guests. Extremely special. I don't think y'all understand how special these two guests are because they're extremely special. And I mean that they are hilariously funny. Me and the one sitting next to me have known each other for a better part of a decade through comedy. Wow. I just met Sammy during the pandemic. She gave me COVID. <laughs> <laughs> That's and, not true. Uh, <laughs> I've never had it. I've never had it. <laughs> uh, nice. She gave me COVID through Zoom. <laughs> when I did their oh, hilarious so podcast, COVID is the worst variant when you get it yeah. through Zoom. Zoom. When you get through Zoom because your computer is I coughing all day. Him, yep. yeah. My computer couldn't taste or smell. My computer, <laughs> didn't, my computer didn't touch his chili that night. Yeah, it was ridiculous. <laughs> I did their hilarious <laughs> podcast <laughs> that is right here on the HeadGum Network. It's called Too Scary. Didn't watch. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Everybody, gossip royalty, give a warm Warm welcome to our sisters in Christ, Emily yeah. Gonzalez and Sammy Smart. Hello. Oh Hello. Oh, yeah, that's not really oh. up, but there we go. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Welcome. Girl, wow. A bell wow. with a sneaker. There oh, we hey, go. That bell got a little... I, I did that. Nah, that was. Oh, you, oh, you held you, it. When you, when you hold a bell. You get a different, uh, yeah. different a sound different. quality. You like see, let me tic-tac. tell you how a bell works. When, the, when that little nodule hits the sides of the bell, it vibrates. Yep. Creating, the... and the cone is sort of in its own amplifier. You first learned how bell works. Me? Oh, you probably. When I first ring a bell. My grandma had a cowbell that she would ring when we was outside, and it was time to eat. Oh, that's Girl. very mm-hmm. fun. And uh, <laughs> it's Mississippi shit. <laughs> yeah. I think it's more fun than yelling. It's very funny. Remember, uh, I like this. I like it. Do y'all remember that 
was it to grandma's house we go? The, to uh, grandmother's house we go. To yeah. grandma's house we go. The, uh, Mary the, Kate and Ashley? Yeah. And it was Bart the Fink. Remember that? And their grandma now would ring a bell. Me. That was like huh. the, the foil of the movie. It was like a guy mm. who lived on grandma's farm. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know. And she was like, wasn't the plot of that movie? She was like trying to sell the farm and Bart the Fink was trying to... Yeah, he was trying to get, get it. Get in the pants. <laughs> <laughs> he was trying to smash the grandma. Man, that I don't know. I was, it, was it a Chris, was it a Christmas movie that one or no? Is that a Christmas one? It was definitely yeah. one of the OG they ones. Was on so the they were really they, young. They was on the farm. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah. And the grandma, come and get it, and she rang the bell. I wonder uh, what those movies. I wonder how those movies would, like, how hard it'd be to watch that now. Oh, I would like, love get, to. They, they were a really curious. good duo with those two girls. God, I used to, I used to love all of it. I watched so little time. Every day. Oh my! I watched so little school. time too. Yeah, that was my shit. <laughs> um, did they have a show old. after that that failed very quickly, or was it just so little time? I feel like there was one where so there was a little, little bit older. I don't know what y'all talking about? What's so little time? There was TV a sitcom show. they had when they were teens. Really? Yeah. When well, they were probably like early twenties. I was. Uh, no, no, well, no, no, I think they were teens. teens. They're young. They're like yeah, just, they're, like, they're like our age, I think. Yeah, like yeah, like two years older than me. I didn't know that the. Uh, WandaVision is their sister. Their little sister, that. yeah. That, the, the main woman in WandaVision yeah, is their yeah. little sister? Elizabeth That's Olsen, little sister. yeah. Oh, shit. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. yeah. Uh, she don't look like them, huh? Not really. Nah. Yeah. But they look alike, though. Well, they... T- they, uh... <laughs> <laughs> they look like each other. They really look like each other. I used to watch So Little Time, and then I would turn to CW and watch What I Like About You. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, with, uh, man, with Amanda. Amanda, yeah, Barnes. Amanda please. I love TV. <laughs> y'all, y'all like TV? Love TV. Yeah. Yep. What, what is speaking Girl? of TV? Okay. Right. So, <laughs> what about Gossip Girl? Great what's, question. What's your history? Yeah, what does it tell us Great individually? Question. Okay, I did watch Gossip Girl when I was on television. Yes. I did. And I, I did fall off, like, Around when they were in college, I got I got a I'm interested got to pick it back up, but I got I got too scary. So I got a watch. little less interested because I loved the like Constance Billard's uh, Saint Jude, the mm-hmm. the school, you know, the high school shit. Even though they were clearly full grown adults, um, <laughs> loved it. Was very into it. I did have a for one of the season premieres, which it must have been like season three, two or three. Um, my friends and I in college, we dressed up. I do have photographic proof. Oh, I made one really of my friends God. track it down. Yes, to be I like, do you this. have the picture of us dressed up in our dorm to watch Gossip Girl? Show him first. So, so okay, he I'll tells show me Lamar it's a, first. It's not a spoiler because okay. people be it's spoiling not, It's shit. not a spoiler. It's absolutely not a spoiler. Okay. I don't um, want you dressed see up See if like you can guess, Lamar, who, who I was. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, bring it a little closer. I love this. God, you guys are dead on. I can tell right away. All right. Who are those? Who are those three? All right, we have first. Well, we definitely got Blair up in here. Uh huh. <laughs> Serena. Wait, which one? You're you're the one on the far left, right? Yes. Yeah, you're Serena, right? Am I the one on the far left? Oh, no, I, I, I don't know my left or my right. <laughs> I'm on an edge. I uh, yeah. Okay. No, you're on the right. I mean, you're on the uh, you're on the far yeah right. That's the that's her right. Yep. She's she's Serena, and then on the far left is Lil J. Mm-hmm. Is that right? I I'm actually a Blair, which uh, what? Blair I'm, doesn't wear that. I <laughs> know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but I was Blair like, would never wear that. I was wearing outfit. colorful tights and a headband. Yeah. Okay. So that's as far as I got. And then the other the other one's Serena. In the middle. In the middle is Serena. Yeah. Why don't she you looks just like make she's in dressed the like middle. Blair to me. In the middle. Let me see. In the middle, she's dressed like Blair. Let me see. Yeah. In my opinion, I feel yeah, like Serena I mean, always has that white. I feel like she's always got a school uniform with the low tie, like under. But uh, yeah. I, I see, I can see it too. Oh, that is that's the Serena fit. You okay, well, fine. I was fucking Serena. You were Serena. Oh, wait. Like, <laughs> now, if you're Team Serena, it's okay. I am not Team Serena. Us, you know? oh. She's dressed like. That's uh, why I'm so appalled. Because like I'm Regina. I am absolutely uh, Georgina. Georgina. She doesn't like Georgina. Oh yeah, that's funny. <laughs> now that 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 would have been a good choice. Georgina would have been a like good Ms. choice. Miss Carr. <laughs> <laughs> Carr. This is Blair and Little J. Oh, we love it. Um, anyway, that's a weird choice to dress up as Little J. I feel like. Where did you I go to college? Just you went to University of uh, Women. Right? Yeah. Um, no, I went to <laughs> University of South women. Carolina. South Carolina. That's yes, where you from? I went to University of South Carolina. Another Southerner on this show. We're all Southerners. Hell and yeah. you so Southern? You from South Africa? That's right. <laughs> you from Cape Town? Johannesburg. For real? Get out of here. Yeah. Oh yeah, I thought you were making up. Uh, no. For real? No. Oh, yeah, tight. 
Yeah. I always wanted to go there. Just a couple of Southerners, all of us. All of us. Yeah. Yeah. All of us. You went to Deep South. <laughs> deep South. South <laughs> Africa. <laughs> South Africa. South Africa. South Africa. South Africa. Well, South Africa. How long have you been out in uh, California? A long time. I came here when I was four, so I don't even really remember. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's why you but don't say South Africa. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, don't, I don't have a cool accent. Nelson is... Mandela <laughs> from South Africa. Yeah. Africa. It's a okay. very fun. Uh, it's what a very you? fun. What's your? What do you? Do you? Did you oh, watch it? In you guys aren't gonna like it. You guys aren't gonna like it. No, I did not watch it in Johannesburg. Uh, <laughs> he was. Well, it, it went out there. <laughs> they didn't have a Johannesburg edition. <laughs> Gossip girl. <laughs> <laughs> Gossip girl. <laughs> Nelson Mandela. <laughs> I believe that Gossip girl should be the national television <laughs> show of South Africa. You'd <laughs> 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 be wrong. <laughs> We did the the black man. No, never mind. All right. <laughs> I mean, um, we love South Africa on this network. Headgum pre- presents South Africa. Headgum loves it. Headgum absolutely loves right. it. Uh, no, I watched my very first episode this week. <laughs> oh, wow. wow and then I <laughs> panicked because I listened to some of your guys' episodes, and I know you don't like it when you have <laughs> guests. It's not us that don't like it. We love sure, just sure. The listeners, yeah, the listeners. Like I want to, I want to, I, so I tried to do as much homework as I could. She really is in a good student. She does. Days. She does try to do work. I, I watched it with her because I was like, oh, well, I'll watch it with you because I used to watch it and yeah. I'll be able to tell you everything that happened. Mm-hmm. And let me tell you guys, it's been, I mean, this episode Why came out in 2009. Yeah. So it's been, <laughs> thank you, um, a very long time <laughs> since I watched this. And uh, Sammy kept asking me, okay, so wait, who's, what's this person's deal? Who's that? Like, mm-hmm. Elle comes in. What happened with her? And I was like, oh, I, I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was, I even remember. I was like that. I was like, who the fuck is that? I, uh, <laughs> she was there at one I think she I'm, just yeah. I'm still a little confused on it, and I just couldn't remember. They're uh, constantly, no you know, partner swapping. So I'm like, who's with who? Right? Who's friend? Like yeah. friendship partner swapping and romantic partner swapping. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I don't. I know the like overall trajectory of where we start and where we end up. Yeah, yeah. but are those in betweens? It, it, did so it bring I did you a lot guys of closer watching it together. Oh my god, yes. Oh uh, yeah, it, it really brought us close. It, it brought me and Carl closer. I believe it. <laughs> like we and Carl, when we talk normally now, like as friends. We like refer to the characters. Like I'll be like, yeah, she's acting like Serena. You know, that, that, <laughs> oh my like, God. Crazy. Well, weird. yeah, no, there's it's just this show is so rich with metaphor. You can absolutely find any life lesson <laughs> that you might need. Uh, I learned so uh, much from the framework of Gossip Girl. Um, do you have any spotted? Do y'all know about the spotted section? We know about the yep. spotted. Do y'all have any? Because I got we got I, a good one in I, there too. I, I actually do. One. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh go, Sam. It's an interesting one. It's a a, a a secondhand spotted. Okay, so we recently did an episode on our oh, podcast. Yeah on the black phone starring Ethan Hawke, who I am obsessed with. And one of our listeners sent in a photo of him. He lives on their, in their neighborhood, I guess, and sent us a photo of him just walking his dog in a very cool red jumpsuit. So it's like just photos of celebrities being sent to us. Holy Uh, mackerel, he wears a red jumpsuit? Yeah, it looks fucking cool as hell. I don't, um, I don't remember they, what the shoes They're were. more like, 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 looks are like New Balance kind of vibes. Oh, like okay. those kind of, you know, like he very way cool. straightforward. He looked fucking cool. I like him. He's, I he's got him. a good vibe, I think. I think he has a good vibe. Yeah, I think, <laughs> I, I don't, I haven't heard a bad thing about him and I hope that remains Well, he did true. cheat on Uma Thurman with the nanny. I mean, oh, okay. I mean, well, that's not. Fine, no. Yeah, yeah. But... <laughs> he married the nanny. He married, nanny. he married the nanny. Yeah, they have kids together now. So They're still together. Oh. Yeah. Okay, then it's a love story. That's true. Then it's a love story. I'm sorry. Life is complicated. Sometimes love stories yeah. happen. Love stories in happen. Unexpected. Hey, hey, I love him as well. I love him as well. So interesting. Nanny goats. I hope so. Why wouldn't that be a good movie? Where is like the that story? Love with nanny. Is that Spanglish? Is that Spanglish? Sort of like the premise of a. A lot of movies, I feel like, right? Yeah. No, I, hope that's, I, I hope like that's true, because I, I, I feel that to be true, but I am ner- I just got nervous that maybe it's About not that anything? True. It's what I've heard, so I repeated it uh, yeah, I with full confidence. I'll never look but it up. Ethan Hawke does a lot of research it's on It's true to me. It's true to me. Ethan Hawke is a huge fan of this show, so... Hi, Love Ethan. you, Ethan. You blew your chance. Uh, <laughs> however, how did you feel about Ethan Hawke in Boyhood? Did y'all, do y'all like Boyhood? I like Boyhood. I, I watched I it. I watched it once. You know, I can't even remember. I know I've seen it. It didn't stick with me, I guess. Didn't I guess it didn't really you. stick with me. Is he back? It didn't stick with oh, you. Man. It's so long. It's, it's, so... it's a boyhood. Well, it's his whole know. life. <laughs> I mean, okay, his life in stick particular, with you. if there was anything to note about him, it didn't. I was more focused on I mean, I sh- I'm sure he was great. He's great. Ethan yeah. Hawke was great in that movie. Absolutely. Is that what we're getting at? That he was great. But he yeah. wasn't the boy. He's though. a great actor. He wasn't the boy. He was the dad. He's so good. He was dadhood. Uh, he was dadhood. He was his real dad, and the mom wasn't That's with him right. no more. Okay. And I related to oh, oh, I related oh. to that relationship because my parents weren't together growing up, 
Yeah. And my dad would come and pick me up in his mm. cool car. And, mm. like, my mom is, like, doing all this work yeah. and, like, stressing out. And then he's just like, let's What's go to up? McDonald's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he's trying, to, trying to go see the, you're going to see X-Men later? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. like, yeah. But, yeah, I, I, I like that you like that movie. That movie is good. I like that. I'm surprised you haven't seen it if you're saying you're an Ethan Hawke fan. No, I've seen it. I've seen it. Oh, okay. I feel like girls don't like Boyhood. I got roasted Where on there is, there, Where's Girlhood? There is a why movie. Can't, why I gotta be boy? <laughs> there is a movie called Girlhood, but I don't know. I haven't seen it. <laughs> is, it based, is she like in real time, like the same way? I don't think so. Uh, I do respect that. That is a fucking cool, like. It's a cool movie. Idea for a movie to just it's really span commi- it over 12 years, right? A lot of commitment. A lot commitment. of commitment. And that kid is like our age, so it was like. I mean, like a couple years younger, so, so yeah. It was, it, he was growing up at the same yeah. like times. It, it was. Did you see Boyhood, Rochelle? I did see Boyhood. What do you think about it? I liked it. Girls don't like boyhood. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you don't like it. I feel like you're lying to me, Rashid. Uh, I mean, man, it was, it was kind of kind of fucked. I can't remember I what happened. Like yeah, I feel like it. Triggering, but it was good. Because yeah, that was like an Oscar-y movie, right? So it's like yeah. gonna make yeah. you. I I tend to. Sammy knows this, and and listeners of our podcast know this. Is I um. I tend to, especially these days, shy away from anything that's trying to make me feel like real emotions. Mm. Oh, like, no, okay. no, no, you won't get me. You will not get me that way. And I just don't, I just don't do it. I said this to somebody and they were like, you need to go to therapy. And I was like, bitch, I, do I go, to go to therapy. therapy. <laughs> I do go to therapy. <laughs> I, don't have to, like, I don't have to force myself. It was a sign. He, oh, he really? was like, when I told him that I was like, I, I was like, Hoping that nothing like super sad would happen in the yeah, movie because yeah. I don't feel like watching. I'm on a plane. I'm drinking my jacket. Yeah, Thank yeah. you. It's I don't about, want to see nothing sad. Yeah, like, that's I, why people me, watch reality TV. So yeah, let me reason. control what. Like I, I just don't. Just, sometimes I want to go there, but if I don't, that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. I don't need to go to therapy for that. Yeah. I need to go to therapy for a whole host of other things. That. My emotional state is not the one. Yeah. And I'm getting real angry. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down. Hey, hey, Therapy get this not... get this guy out of LaCroix. Therapy's not a solution, it's a practice. Therapy is not a solution, it's a practice. You heard it here first. Real quick, just out of curiosity, what is that movie about? Because I see the poster everywhere Boyhood? and it looks crazy to me. <laughs> No, not no. We're not talking about uh, Boyhood anymore. Uh, it, the black phone. Isn't the mask crazy, that poster? It was insane. That, that I don't mask know. I thought so it was scary. like a like a clown, I don't know. Yeah, it's a horror movie or like thriller. It's the same director as Sinister, who Ethan Hawke was in that as well. And it's about it's Ethan Hawke is a uh, kidnapper slash pedophile slash very bad, bad, bad man, a very bad, 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 bad man. Bad guy, bad guy. And, weird, and, and the weird kid mask. that gets abducted has to or there's a black phone in the room and he can hear supernaturally the voices of previous boys that have been abducted. Mm-hmm. It's it's. Is it fucked good? up? <laughs> you I liked mean, it. I liked it. Yeah. That's oh, crazy. No, I can't watch shit like this. Uh, yeah. That's, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah me me also, either. let me say before people, uh, uh, I got. I want to go back to Boyhood for just one second <laughs> <laughs> because I don't want people I to think that, that to I was like the whole movie was happy. There mm-hmm. was uh, very triggering cases of domestic violence for a short amount of time in the movie, and I I was like, damn. Like, mm-hmm. why? Is, I knew something was going to happen that I didn't want to watch. Yeah. But for the rest of it, like, I was afraid that, like, I'm sorry if I'm spoiling this for y'all, but y'all could have seen it already. Uh, <laughs> you've had, you've had plenty of time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was afraid that, like, his mom was going to get cancer when she mm-hmm. right, when right, right. dad was going to get shot because yeah. he was cool, you know, and mm-hmm. cool people get shot. Yeah. And then, like, it mm-hmm. was, uh, but nothing like that happened. He just, like, grew up. Yeah. Wait, so I do like the choice just to be like, no, this is just, this is a life. Yeah. We're just showing you. A childhood. Who is that? Richard Linklater. Rich, yep. Yeah. Yep. Richard Linklater. Man, yeah, me and Richard gonna link later. <laughs> uh, anyway, speaking of Richard Linklater, what you doing tonight? I'm linking yeah, Richard yeah. Linklater. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is that the Richard one that Linklater. directed Ronnie? Uh, that and Ronnie was in the movie with him. No, no, no. That's that's um. Gus Van Sant. Gus Van Sant. Mm. Don't worry, he won't get far that, on foot. Uh, yep, 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 yep. I didn't yeah. see that film. I didn't either. I Sorry, Ronnie. Ronnie. Sorry, Ronnie. I saw it. I saw it, Ronnie. You were great. Nice. Yeah, yeah Ronnie was great in it. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll have Ronnie on the show too. Um, man, so did who directed Age of Innocence? How about that? Ooh. Who directed Age of Innocence, Rochelle? I don't uh-huh. feel like Rochelle's got a good film palette. Yeah, I Rochelle, this. you like good movies. You like Boyhood. <laughs> <laughs> Like, tell the truth. Do we need to get a lie detector in here to find out if you really like this movie? It's a movie I like saying I like. I just don't remember how I felt watching it. Yeah. I, when did it come out? Martin Scorsese. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, that's true. I remember that. He did do that. Um, this episode, guys. Bob, now, wait a minute. Oh, Yeah, didn't you guys have a good spot? Oh, no, I don't have any I didn't got no spot. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't do shit this week. I, yeah, yeah, I, I've been great, in the great. house. 
Uh, I ain't see nobody. No, no, no. Do you have one? Uh, That's why it's nice that mine came to me I through don't have, I, phone. I, I don't have a, no, I don't really have a spot. I, ha I got, I spotted someone filming me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really? Um, it, but that, it was oh. like not a weird, it was kind of weird. It, it was, um, a, a guy was like doing an Instagram story and, and like caught me in the background, like on purpose and was like talking and I like looked up and then, and. And and I, you can see in the video me look up, see that I'm on somebody's phone, look confused, and be like, "Hi." And anyway, and then we talked for like a minute, and it was he was nice, but it really threw me. And if you can, see, he said he like tagged me and then sent it to me, and you could see a woman be very confused in real time. Wait, why was he doing? Wait, that? was he yeah. making fun of you? Was he making fun of your? That is what I thought. Thank yeah. you so much, Carl, for going there with me. <laughs> um, yeah. No, it was actually it was a compliment. It was it was he was complimenting my jacket. I was gonna say I bet uh, it's a style related thing. Emily's jacket. It was at, or it was at, So I'm, I'm going back to school. Did I tell you this? You're going back, back to school. I'm going back to school. I start next week. South Carolina wow. game uh, I'm going back to South Carolina. <laughs> Goodbye. Um, and uh, and it was orientation, and and he was complimenting my job. Cool. Fashion school, Are you folks. Going to fashion school. That's going right. To fashion school. Wow, like little J. We have our very own I'm little J. Like, yeah, I'm going to fit him. Yeah. On fit him. The fit podcast. Him. Spit him. Oh, fit him. we need I'm to talk later. Just about that. like little J, an absolutely fabulous person to be anything like. Um, <laughs> I agree with all her choices, acting as well. <laughs> the age uh, of dissonance. They it's open. time, y'all. Okay. It's time to talk it's about this episode. Talk about the age of the age of dissonance. I love their punny titles. I, I really I do. do. I don't get this though. What is? I don't know what dissonance mean. Is that kind of, is that what you defined earlier? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> is that why you did that? Yeah. <laughs> it means having two opinions. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, you believe something. Yeah. Here's and I, now that I Google that, it makes me think about what this is. Mm -hmm. I think this is Blair mm -hmm. is being like. I'm not a bad person, but everybody yeah. is telling her like, no, you are a yeah, bad person. Yeah, that's a kind of, okay. Yeah. And that. she knows she's a bad person. She knows she does bad things. She does things. bad things, but she's not a bad person. She does bad things, she's not a bad person. Um, I don't think Blair's a bad person. Is that crazy to say? Mm-hmm. Because hey, I think she's an awful person. Do we have a fellow Team B over here? I'm Team B. What's good? And we got the pink going. Let's team go, B. Emily. What's well, happening? She's at least the most interesting character on this show. Yeah. Careful, she, don't she's spoil most, nothing for these don't, cats. Don't spoil nothing for like, I do agree, like right now, Damn she's word. probably in her shittiest season. We're watching the worst version of her. So I understand why Carl and Yeah, Nick yeah. Well, you gotta go on a journey. You gotta go on a journey. Right now. Yeah, I'm not I'm not feeling her right You're now. You're team I'm Serena? Not, I'm I'm team nobody right oh, now. Oh, okay, fair, fair. <laughs> He's team Eric. He like I'm, Eric. Oh, I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that. <laughs> Eric, well, it's fine. I like Eric. I like Eric. <laughs> No Eric in this episode. Zero Eric. Not yeah. even. Yeah. So I almost turned it off. Yeah. Not even <laughs> like, I, 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 the idea of someone watching Gossip Girl for Eric is insane. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I'm trying to see what's going to happen with Eric next. You know what I'm saying? Eric always hitting him with the gym. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Eric, you should be having them zingers, though. Yeah. Uh, team Eric and Team Miss Carr. I do. I also feel like Lil J. The last few episodes is getting nothing like just whack ass stories. Yeah, she get on my nerve suit still. I wonder if like yeah. that's when like things were getting weird. <laughs> they might have been starting to get weird. She's not in the scenes. show as much. Did things start yeah. getting weird on, while she was on the show? I think yeah. things started getting weird like, with her like personally, and, and like yeah. And then, wow, you know, <clears throat> these are. Because I bet she wanted yeah. to quit. I think for a while or something. Well, like we just yeah, she was a child actor. She probably was just fucking. I mean, I, I mean, uh, <laughs> Team Blair. What, what do you? What do you? Where are you at, Sammy? You Team Blair or Team uh, Serena? So, for, just from what you know. I guess I gotta go with Serena because yeah, I've only watched this episode and, and the pilot. The pilot. <laughs> you watched the pilot. <laughs> <laughs> no, you cannot be. You cannot be Team Serena. God, Serena. Uh, I'm gonna keep going and worst. I'll keep As you guys posted. Serena right is now. the worst. So they both watched the whole thing. Mm -hmm. I'm. I am in real time. Yep. I've only seen where we are right now. Yep. Mm -hmm. As far as it goes right now, I, I'm definitely done with Serena. Absolutely not I mean, on her. <laughs> You'll be done with her by episode uh, two. Yep. I I was team Rufus. Yep. Humphrey, but he may get on my nerves. Nah, he's getting on my nerves. What's wrong with him today? Wait, yeah. yeah. yeah this, he be in crabby moods. Yeah, he's, he, he's like he's like he's like sexually he, frustrated or something. Yeah. He's a little too Serena in that he like takes like the holier than thou. It's like okay, yeah. we get it. You yeah. don't do wrong things. Yeah, mm -hmm. but he he was a good guy though. He's a good guy. <laughs> he's a good guy. Don't be scared. Blair is a good person that does bad things. No, Rufus is a good person. That does not great things. I don't think yeah. he's done anything really bad. He's a he just, he's really yeah. not perfect. It's not what, perfect. What we're yeah. saying. He's just a dad uh, trying to make it out here. I tell you who I don't University. like is Chuck. Oh yeah. Oh, From yeah, just I mean, seeing yeah. those two episodes. Yeah, he does. A lot of, <laughs> lot of, a lot of sexual assault. Two sexual assault. assaults in that pilot. Oh, did you want me to get it? Yeah, it's very <laughs> tough. I, I, I heard, cause, like I heard, even for me, I I didn't watch it when it was on. Mm. I watched it during the pandemic. Right. 
and I was like, whoa, what the <laughs> fuck is this? It was like, that Jesus probably Christ. was rough. Yep. But yeah, and then, um, you know. But then you go on a, you know, you go on a journey. It's also yeah, tough. In, I believe it. I believe it. In real time, the context of like, oh, he is um, a sexual predator. Right. He, in real life. In yeah. real life. Yeah. So we, that we've, also we've makes it, that. that makes it hard. We just, know, the, the, every guest that comes up brings it up. Especially when you're thinking, you're like, ooh, yeah. <laughs> I, don't love, I don't love that about it. <laughs> the gossip royalty, those are the listeners of the show. Of course. Mm-hmm. They know where we stand on Chuck. We are mm-hmm. only talking about the character. The show Chuck Bass. Yeah. Yep. And when we're talking about everybody else, we're talking about their real life yeah, yeah. exploits. <laughs> yeah. Yes. But, only, but Chuck, we keep his out. No, I'm just playing. Separate the art from the artist. We don't run from it. But yes, we are separating the art from the artist just for this show. Yes. We know who it is. We know what he does. We know what he's been accused of. We are talking about we're Chuck. Talking about Chuck Bass, who Bass. also sucks. <laughs> yeah, who else? But, yeah. But, he, he sucked today, too. God, this yeah, episode yeah. is killing me. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, the, the kids play. are doing a play. Yeah. He's doing a play. The Age of Innocence. And Blair taking shuttle so- t- subtle, subtle shots. Is it subtle or subtle? It's subtle. Subtle. Subtle, subtle. yeah. Subtle. The B is silent. The B is silent. S- subtle like the, the Blair, Blair. She put the Blair. B in the subtle. Uh, she put the B in <laughs> subtle. Uh, she taking shots at Serena. So yeah. we don't like that shit. Serena got a crush on the director, of course. I don't know. <laughs> the greatest What's actor of our time. Yeah, Man. that that guy was out who of was, control. You know that guy? <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, so he's supposed, I guess, he, who do you think he's like, like, if if you had to think of a director, he I feel like they were probably trying to parody. They a certain probably type of were. Director. Like the Wes Anderson link maybe. Later. Oh. The link later. <laughs> we gonna link later. We gonna link later. Right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, but yeah, we gonna link later. Yeah, he was out of control. Like, but that's a crazy like. What kind of gig is this? He's like, he think he tried to the right Broadway director yeah. directing this high school. Yeah. Yeah. No. You play. Fuck up. Yeah. So Dan's sitting outside in the theater when the director yells at him, "Get backstage! <laughs> There's a dress rehearsal." Some director, uh, the same. Oh, the same director. I was gonna ask a question about that. Was he was he yelling at Dan or or Jenny? Dan, because I thought she was saying, "Jenny, get back with the costumes." No, he was doing that too, but he also was yelling at Dan because Dan is sitting in Uh, the audience when he's supposed to be like they about to do a dress rehearsal. Gotcha, gotcha. That everybody's supposed to see. So yeah, uh, previews, if you will. Miss Carr walks in. I know she got there. Wow, everybody's whispering. She's so crazy too because it felt like. Did you guys understand what was happening? Because I felt like the, the time had jumped. They like they break up because the last episode is when they Dan and uh, Car kind of was getting it in. It was getting right. in, right? But then it seemed like they must have had stopped or something. Yeah, maybe it's just a one-time thing. Or yeah. they they were like, we can't do this anymore. Also, it's just so funny. she looks. Ten years younger than the way they make the high schoolers look. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. she looks so young. She looks so, and I know she is supposed to be a young teacher because she, you know, I looked it up because she student, looks. So, yeah, she's but... only three years older than um, Penn Badgley, the actor. Oh, nice. that makes sense. That makes sense. Good. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Dan tripping over Miss Carr. Yeah, mm-hmm. he gonna mess up he the gotta, play. I gotta see her. I gotta I see. Her. I got to see her. He Man. gonna mess up the play. They ain't gonna mess up. I, I like play. how no one cares about this play. Like everyone's it so seems disconnected like the from play it. Play got cast and put up t- the same day. Like, yeah, yeah. They're, 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 they're still learning like, their Nelly, lines. Like, it's like, what are we doing? Like, how, this is not how a play works. <laughs> that shit was weird. It was just like, all right, all the popular kids in the play. Anyway, like everybody, anyway, <laughs> we did the play today, so whatever. Also, do, do people play. watch dress rehearsals? I wasn't familiar with that. I uh, mean, some people will. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, Especially if it's like a dress, like a like that dress rehearsal was like a final final yeah, dress. A final yeah, dress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, dress tech. Yeah. SNL uh, gives sells tickets to the dress rehearsal. Oh yeah. Yeah. For, um, I mean, it makes I mean, sense. It's like the show. It, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and, that's, and the, plus like a little bonus of seeing the the because they probably want a little audience, huh? That's probably yeah, what they want. Yeah, yeah. Jokes and stuff, yeah. Right? There's like yeah. two audiences that come in and out. Bits. <laughs> they, they have the dress, they have a, the dress rehearsal yeah. audience, and then they'll sh- shuffle that audience out, and then they'll bring in the audience for the live that's show. That's tight. And sometimes they'll that is cool. uh, sometimes in the aired version they'll use the tape. If the laugh was better. The, yeah. Oh really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. Interesting. Yeah, I like the dress. I like I like. So it's not live actually. It's live. I'm. Okay. Oh, you you're blowing the you're blowing the lid off uh, of it. Uh, you get me killed. Don't don't do this. Control uh, so Vanessa's making a documentary. Yeah, always filming. Uh, always filming some stupid Vanessa. shit. Vanessa's getting on my Who damn nerves. Who is this for? Who wants to see this <laughs> shit? Who wants to see this shit? You ain't no director. Making a goddamn documentary, and I, it's always God. like it's, it's so like documentaries are supposed to are not supposed to be slanted one way. But she's yeah, I know. Like, Let me look at these rich people. Too close to your subjects. Too close to your subjects. Also, have an overall theme. She day to day, she's like, well now. The documentary is about this. Vanessa. Yeah, I really feel like she should work in narrative space. I don't understand why she's doing documentaries. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like she wants to be a filmmaker, but she's doing documentaries. 
Anyway, <laughs> but uh, yeah, she's just like, and, and it's like the same document. It's always like the rich and the like, whatever. Her and Nate are getting on my nerves. I, I know I'm, I contradict myself so much on this podcast. But yeah, like, her and Nate were killing me. They were killing me. They were killing me in this one. Oh, and we'll talk about goodness. the uh, Chuck Bass shows up to a restaurant, talks to a guy, and then sees Carter Bazin. Oh yeah, back at, back at it, back at it. Do you yeah. remember him? I just yelled. I yelled out. My brain was short circuiting in this moment because I had no idea he was in this, and I just yelled out, "Stan!" Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Stan so I couldn't what? remember his name. No, he his name's young, Sebastian though, he, Stan, he, 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 oh. and I couldn't skinny, remember his first name because yeah. it's before he like bulked up for Marvel stuff. Um, yeah. yeah. What Marvel stuff has he been in? Captain, he's uh, <laughs> the, Winter the Winter Soldier. Soldier. He's the, uh, winter, he's the winter soldier. soldier? Man, if, if it yeah. ain't boyhood, I don't want it. He was, that, he was in Black Panther. He, he was like the one white guy in Black Panther. <laughs> no, he wasn't. The other guy was the colonizer. Colonizer. The one, colonizer. Yeah, the winter Bilbo? soldier. Bilbo Baggins. Yeah. Let me see. Josh Sanders. He was also Pam and Tommy. He Pam and Tom. He's having a big moment right now. We Fresh. had a remember I, we, I spotted him at Blair's. Itania. Uh, Who you play oh, the Itania? restaurant. He was in Itania? He was uh, He's the, ma- the, the main guy. Her husband, her, her bad uh, husband. Her husband? He was the bad husband. Oh, I didn't, know yep. he was, I didn't know who he was back then. And I always, I, I clock him every time he's in something because he's Carter Basin. Yeah. Like, the first thing I ever saw him in was See, that's a real this. Gossip Girl fan. Thank you. And, Everyone else is um, re-watching it, realizing he's in Gossip Girl. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's like a side, I mean, he's not that big of a character, but he's in it, like, the name, too. is yeah. like, they like, talk about Carter Basin a lot as if he's this big thing. And so, yeah, then ever since when I've seen him and things, I'm like, yeah. oh, Carter Basin, good for him. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Tiny Nate be kicking it, too, yeah. I heard. I know. In the streets. Yeah. In real life? Yeah. Well, I was very happy to hear, because, again, I, I only know from Gossip Girl, and I haven't watched The Boys, which I hear is great. But um, Nate's on The Boys? Yeah. yeah, Chase Crawford is a big part, and I'm, like, so happy for him, too, because yeah. Nate is a pretty boring he's character. Great at, he's great in The Boys. Um, and I'm so happy for him that he got to keep doing interesting stuff. Yeah. Um, what is uh, um, I'm so happy for him. Vanessa right doing? She doing anything? You know, <laughs> she got a gossip girl podcast. Does she? Yeah. Our rival podcast. Yeah, we're in competition. Okay. Um, okay. So wait a minute. Okay, Chuck said got, Carter Basin. He sees Carter Basin. Mm-hmm. Carter Basin sitting with a woman, and oh yeah, he's like L. That's right. That's her name, right? L. Yeah. Yeah, but and, she's uh, like no, no, no. She's like, L. Was. I met L. Like, Come on, you you know what's going on here. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, Dude. Chuck was wild. Chuck, here's I'm what American. I think about the Secret Society shit. He keeps talking about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's like, he's like, shut up. Yeah. <laughs> I know you were in that Secret Society. But yeah, and then like, of course, My she's name like, is Haley. No, it's not. It. It's Elle. I met you. I know you. Yeah. Yeah. Be like, cool, man. Be cool for a second. Yeah, like, Chuck you ain't got no chill. No chill at all. So he blowing up the spot. She leaves. And, uh, you know, Big Brother Gossip Girl comes over yeah, and says, yeah, yeah. Hey, I don't mean to, so I don't mean to interrupt, true here, but, but you know your girl. The back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And nobody has any cool <laughs> in Just this so restaurant. You know, so, so, I mean, every black person who comes on the show is Gossip Girl. Yeah. Okay, great. So, yeah. great, great, great. This guy. He's like, man, I don't know if y'all's going to eat or whatever, but yeah. yo, she just ran out the back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, my God, Carter Bazin. Carter Wait, Bazin. when did he become, like, evil man? I mean, he was, I guess he was always a bad guy, but he's, he's like, he's playing weird like, evil guy. This is the first time he's come back since the poker game. Thing, yeah, right? yeah, uh, yeah. So maybe. he's always been bad, I guess. So because he was sleazy and then like more c- like Cotillion. Cotillion is that how you say it? Cotillion. Oh, Cotillion? Yeah, Serena's That's day. I thought he was day. being nice in that one in that episode. It doesn't I think matter. He's just a, nobody likes. Him. I guess no one's really the a good grandma because grandma <laughs> wanted Serena to <laughs> be Blair? with Carter Bazin. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah she did instead of Dan. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, Carter and, and, and Bass got beef though. So that's that's evident, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I love that shit. Uh, so like Carter Basin dips, and the man Chuck was talking to, but he mm-hmm. first walked in, who mm-hmm. was a friend of Daddy Bass. Yeah, also follows him. Mm-hmm. He gets up. He throws it. They are, everybody's paying in cash. All these rich ass people I know. are carrying yeah. cash. I right. commented on that. Has anybody ever just thrown cash down on a table before they walked out without like looking at the bill? It's just I don't think anybody does that. In real life. I have not done that because I don't have that kind of money. <laughs> it just is also yeah, like, like, well, like I don't know how much that it's, this will be enough. And yeah, yeah I guess yeah. that's true. They're just paying way extra, which yeah. it goes against yeah, my like thoughts of rich people. Speaking of money, don't forget your wallet is on the floor under that chair. <laughs> uh, <laughs> don't don't tell the cameras. They'll come. They're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna come here and get it. Yeah. <laughs> this is where Lamar keeps his wallet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 they'll break in. Like it's here, right on the couch. Yeah. <laughs> this is happening live. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, um, so Chuck Chuck clocks that shit. He's like, mm, yeah, of course he follow. does. It's so obvious. <laughs> yeah, but here's here's my thing. He should have known at that point. Mm-hmm. It at this point, Chuck sees that man get up and follow Carter Basin out. After mm-hmm. Fake L mm-hmm. is like, you know, sneaking out the back. Yeah, 
Chuck should be like, well, Chuck did clock that he was a part of the secret society, mm -hmm. but he didn't clock it until Carter Basin was like, la la la. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that shit was so funny. He was like, see you later. Yeah. yeah. Wait, was so weird. And also, it's like, is that a tattoo? That's not a tattoo. It was just a stamp. A, oh, Chuck it's a stamp. Got it. Oh, okay. But maybe, maybe and it then, got uh, It did look like it. Looks yeah. like it's But tattoo. Chuck is yeah. stupid, though, because he's like, in his mind, this girl's supposed to be in danger. Mm -hmm. Like, or he, but he got no urgency. He's like, he's like, ah, oh. yeah, right. uh, yeah. She's in danger, but he keeps blowing up her spot. <laughs> yeah, why are you? Why are you? Trying to like, he's like no, literally, no, the, the family was like, we're worried about her. Why are uh, you in school? <laughs> what what oh, what time of day yeah, is it? Yeah, has Chuck. Chuck ain't left school yet, has he? He's still going to graduate. I think he's with still them. technically yeah, in school. I think it's like they got senioritis. But he's like got a business <laughs> and stuff. Or it does feel like they're in that, that time of year where they're just like, yeah, we're care. done. They just got the play. Yeah, Whatever. yeah. Is I Chuck know that play was so stupid. <laughs> Chuck's going to Yale, right? I don't remember who is and who is uh, not going to Yale. They're all going all right, to Ivy Leagues because uh, they're rich. Serena's not going. Only person right now going to Yale is D, D Humphrey. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, do we know? No, know we don't going. know yet where they're going because of this. Uh, what happens in this episode? Yeah, we yeah. don't get there. We're going to get Chuck goes to Yale. Though. I, don't, I remember I Chuck. Goes when to college. It, I think he was like, I don't want to go to Yale. Just, he, isn't yeah. he like a little yeah, yeah billionaire oh, yeah. running a company? Stuff, I think. Yeah. Bass, yeah. Bass Industries. Bass Industries. Yeah. So Dan delivers a note to Miss Carr through Jenny. Mm -hmm. He's like, I gotta talk to her. Take this note to her. Let yeah. me write my name in it. Let me write my name in it. And Oh my God! This type of shit is so dumb. So. Especially uh, Miss Carr, she need to move. She's got to move better than this. Yeah, what is she, she, she doing? Moving, she moving awfully. <laughs> like, what so is happening? The the Jenny gives her a note. It says, "Let's meet somewhere." Jenny gonna find like Jenny mm. gonna find out what happened with him. Like yeah. Dan can't, he can't hold water. I say that every episode. This man yep. talks too <laughs> he much. <running> his mouth. <laughs> he running his mouth too much. It's gonna get them both Even in trouble. Later, we, him. Gonna, we gonna get to it. We gonna get to it. We'll get to wait, it. Wait, wait, he, he just started telling him. Well, we'll get to it. We'll get to that. We'll get to it. We'll That's get to it. Go. We're going to get to We're going to get to that. So, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Blair goes to head Mrs. Queller. Side note, we talked about this before, I think, now that mm -hmm. I think about it, but the writer of this episode is Queller. Yeah. Yeah. I saw that too. I was like, yeah. what the fuck? That's yeah. what they did it for. Yeah. Like, she's Queller. a co EP, I think. And yeah. Then she's like, I think they just probably named it after her. Imagine she's if there cool. was a character on Brooklyn Nine Nine named Officer Dark. Yeah. <laughs> it's very likely. They, I feel like we writers would do that shit all yeah. the time. Yeah. Yeah, we, yeah. Queller is just so specific. Queller. Uh, and uh, she tells her that Yale found out what she did to Miss Carr and ain't gonna let her in. Yeah. Boom. Gossip She's girl. Like, when God closes the door, he mm. opens a play. Yeah. <laughs> and that play <laughs> is, is the age corny. of innocence. Corny. <laughs> Shit is um, crazy, right? Is, uh, who is that? Who are these oh. people? What's going know. on out What's there? What's going on out there? <laughs> uh, it's, distracting. it's distracting. We need curtains in here. Uh, so, uh, Rufus sits down. I know. Next I love that Rufus is at the dress rehearsal. He's I like, know. Yeah. I pull up in that dress <laughs> rehearsal real quick. Why can't you just come to the play, Rufus? Yeah. Why you need to be at the dress rehearsal? Yeah. Get off your kids nuts, Rufus. Yeah, he's right. Care about your kids like, too much. Stop supporting yeah. everybody so he's much. He's like stressed that he's one minute late too. He's like running he's like, in like, oh fuck, fuck yeah. sorry, sorry, Scoot sorry. Over, Jenny. Yeah. 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 She's still in the audience. Yeah. He's like, like move over, get over. I didn't get a seat. And then, and then, like, this was the most awkward moment because she drops the letter. Yeah. And she just goes. Just looks at it. Looks at <laughs> it. Not even trying to pick it up. So of course you know Ruth is gonna pick it up. Yeah. All you gotta do is pick it up. And then when he picks it up, she goes, huh. Yeah, it's like just be like, oh, that's uh, that's a note of that's a list of yeah. costumes. Just stop say fucking something. She makes Jenny, no, just no, I got a no about effort this, I to think, hide it. I think Lil J. She wanted. I don't think she likes Miss Carr. Yeah. I don't think really? she likes that for her Dan. Yeah, that's, I think she's that's like, probably true. Without saying it, I think she just was, she was like kind of like that glad happened. that that was getting caught. I currently feel like Miss Carr is the best thing to ever happen. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Carr is well, we gonna get to we it. We gonna get to it. Miss <laughs> Carr is out of here. All right. I, uh, Carr. I don't know. Some of it was like the way I was like when she wrote her message on the back when they did that close up on it. It's like mm. it's me. They're like can't wait to see can't you tonight. See you tonight. <laughs> like, Rachel. Yeah, Rachel, Rachel Carr. Rachel Carr. From uh, Miss Iowa. Miss Carr. Your, your teacher. Your teacher. Your teacher. Your teacher. <laughs> That's not supposed to be dating you. <laughs> <laughs> I might lose my job. Oh my God. She put the key to her home. In, that is insane. In the envelope. Oh, that's Which how like, Ruth Dog got in there. Yeah. I was about to ask. Yeah, she put, <laughs> it's also in. like, she, does, she puts my place tonight yeah. and leaves the key, but he could, he knows where she lives. And so she's he, there. And she's she there. She could open the door so for him. She doesn't yeah. need to leave the yeah. key. Also, how did, uh, did she just have a spare key with her? I don't know. 
Did she put the address no. on there? I don't, probably. She was like, if, if, if you forgot my address. been there before. My address, my full she, name. She didn't need the key to he get probably, in. He probably could look she it up. She probably have that did. Record. How did she get in? Because yeah. she's there later. It just also, was that, crazy. That was one of them keys. That was one of them, the long keys, too, that go, like, for the, like, broke-ass apartments. <laughs> yeah, that's, right. like, that's the same key I used to get in my garage. Yeah, it was, like, like a long-ass key. Yeah. I don't know about that key. Yeah, I don't trust that key. It's a skeleton key. I think that key is dating Carter Basin. <laughs> it's just like, yeah. Uh, uh, but that was just bad. That was bad on everybody. Big roof. But, you know, he's, he's got every right to be worried. He's got, yeah, yeah, he yeah. Worried, he's he handled his son that. Is 18. We're going to get to that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're going to have a big discussion about that. We're going to have a big this. discussion about that. Let's, let's, matter of fact, let's breeze through this so we can really talk about this stuff. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, uh, before Miss Queller told uh, Blair she wasn't going to yell, you know, Blair finna go on a tear. She finna act her ass. Yeah. And Blair goes back and gets on Nelly Yuki ass. Nelly Yuki yeah. sitting there with the fat suit on. But Nelly Yuki is cracking me up this episode. This was great though. Mm. This shit was because Nelly Yuki finally was like, "You're trash, Blair. Yeah, she Don't nobody told fuck her. with you." And then Slim Charles was like, "She's right. Yeah, <laughs> like sorry, Blair. <laughs> sorry about it, Blair. We all do hate you. We don't hate you, Blair. We're like, like we don't, we don't like look up to you. We hate you. Yeah, Everybody hates we you. We yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, so that was dope. I was happy Nelly Yuki did that. That was interesting too. Like. It's almost like they didn't. They were surprised that Blair didn't know she was shitty. You know, it's almost like you don't, I thought that was your like that brand. That was your thing. Yeah. Like, you're like, I'm shitty. Yeah, but I think then, she always her her hubris is she always thinks people like still respect her too much to like they wouldn't yeah. dare take her down, but the, but they will. Yeah, Blair had real Karen energy too when she walked up to Nelly. I was like, yeah. she supposed to say something racist. No, no, I know. <laughs> she, yeah. she, she, she wanted it a real hard like there. Like she always could. Yeah, you know? she's <laughs> like on the verge of saying some racial slur or some shit. To Nelly like, Yuki, yeah, that <laughs> shit is funny. So, I deserve who plays college. Nelly Yuki? What's that actor's name? I ain't yeah, never looked at Nelly great. Yuki. She was, she's really funny. She was cracking me up in that she fast suit thing. Let's follow her from the account. Uh, that part when they were oh, like, oh shit, the, this might be a spoiler. Oh fuck! Oh, don't look! No. Don't look! Don't look! Yin Chang. Yin Chang. Yin Chang. <laughs> Yin Chang. <laughs> Nelly Yuki. Uh, so where's my notes? Uh, yes. Okay. So. Nelly Yuki gets on that ass, and then that's a, an actual Asian name. Right? Yin Chang, Yuki. yeah, Nelly, Nelly Yuki. Yuki. Oh yeah. And then, uh, so there's a gossip <laughs> gossip girl blast goes out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Another one. Lord Marcus. It said Lord Marcus. Blair was letting her man smash his mom. Yeah. You know, back to Lord Marcus. Uh, and somebody like somebody is on Blair's head right now. Yeah, mm-hmm. like they in the head me too. Cause I was like, I almost I forgot about that yeah. shit. Cause that, and also it was random as fuck. Like ain't nobody thinking about Miss Marcus no more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That happened a while ago. Yeah, that was a long yeah. ass time ago, but it's all still the same season. These seasons True. are too. Long. That was the same season. It was, it was the, the white party. That was the early that was wow. the first episode. Starts. The first like five episodes. We, Damn. God, that white party. Like we've been, I know, it, that white party was wild. It feels like we've been in this season two forever. This yeah, yeah. Forever. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so she thinks of Vanessa now. So mm-hmm. now Yuki ain't do it. Now she's like, it had to be Vanessa, because Vanessa the only person that knew about Laura Marcus. But Vanessa yeah. ain't got no reason. So she goes to Vanessa, checks her, and yeah. well, Vanessa's talking to Serena at the time, and Serena, with her no loyalty having ass, yeah. is, is, her loyalty like, is free. I like Vanessa. I like Vanessa now. Yeah. You tripping, She's a Blair? good filmmaker. She's our next Richard Lee. <laughs> yeah, she's the next Richard Lee. Uh, yeah, like, and, and, and what is, they're all like into the director yet? Yeah, get they're going to, yeah, so they, they, this one they said they about to go the even director. Yeah, but he's whack though. He's wha- hell, hella whack. Yeah. So Chuck, going to help the girl out at the club. <laughs> mm-hmm. She says she knows a lot about, she knows a lot about powerful men. She was on the Epstein plane. Oh, yeah. That's what I think. Wait, what part is this? When Chuck goes, this is that B story. Oh, I'm saying yeah. from last episode, I'm like, man, shut this shit. Oh, yeah. you're right. right? That story is whack. That, like, I don't know why. I think she finds I can't him. Tell you why I was gonna I say, like... she, it seems like she's all of a sudden just in his apartment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she, she shows up and she's it's... like, sorry, I had to play you like that today. Yeah, uh-huh. but I like you, Chuck. Damn, I'm lost. Shit, what fake. part? I don't remember this. Thing. It's the How'd she story. get in there? How'd she get in? Uh, she just he left, she her, had, uh, he left her key. Miss Carl left her key. Miss Carl got keys. So she's the key master. Yeah, but you know what's crazy? It's like. That you're right. I don't want to tell you why this story is important, but it is. Don't hate on it too much. That's all I'm gonna say. No, I'm not, I, know, so I know something's gonna happen, but it's just getting my damn. It, but I, but I, I, I do agree with you. I'm like, the more I'm watching it, I'm like, God, this is stupid. Yeah. It's like uh, the secret society thing. It's yeah. Like, I just want maybe because like with back then it was more interesting, but now we know that's just like a bunch of people discussing people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I want. I truly want them to like foreshadow. Some like Epstein type shit, like because they do basically be like, what it is. I know yeah. all of your secrets. Yeah. I know yeah. these rich, powerful men. I know their secrets. Yeah, like th- there's a plane. 
There's Jelaine. <laughs> Maxwell. <laughs> you seen Jelaine's boobs? Have I see, have what? I seen oh them? Oh my God, Jelaine Maxwell's titties is titties. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> I have not. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I immediately <laughs> pulled up my phone. Yeah. Wait All right. for what this Google search is going to be. Rochelle's right right looking it up. <laughs> look it up. Don't look that up, Rochelle. All look right. Anyway. You don't get flagged. Uh, but yeah, I think it, but that's what I mean. Like, there's something not right about this. Yeah. Some something are right, right about the secret society and some are not right. And it's interesting that Carter Bazin gets down too. <laughs> you you seeing? You, oh no, that's not the picture. Say, look up swimsuit. Somebody oh, said okay, it to swimsuit, me. Okay, swimsuit, swimsuit. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said it to Somebody you. Somebody said it to me. I was like, hold on, look oh at look at Jelay. Swim. God damn it. Nah, this, nah, it's not that this? one. It's not that one. Yeah, someone sent me that same photo. <laughs> Which one are we looking for? This one? Mm, no, that's not it. This either. one? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that was oh, the one they God. sent. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there you have there it. There you have it, folks. Anticlimactic. <laughs> Anti-titmactic. Oh, uh, my God. But <laughs> at least she's doing the time. Them 20 of them things. Yeah, she got 20 years in yeah, prison. Yeah, she's a bad person. Uh, uh, like Blair. Boom. Worse than Blair. <laughs> I think she's worse than Blair. I'm going to come out and say it. <laughs> yeah. So, where are we at? Okay, so, yeah. So, they, they, they trying to figure out a plan. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, her and Ellen Chuck trying to figure out a plan. So, mm -hmm. anyway, back to the other story. Serena, yeah. the director, Nate and Vanessa. I hated this. I hate, yeah. I hate You know what? I realized I don't like Serena, Serena no shit. Huh? I'm sick of it. I don't like when people do Serena no shit in Serena TV. Serena no shit. That's oh, what, Serena, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, shit, I got a book uh, on my own. Like when uh, people, it's like a... We're, it's we're from over them, it. Yeah, like when, you, when you're like, I'm going to tell you what to say. And then, oh, yeah. and then it's like, and then it's someone else's words, yeah. and then they always get caught. They do that shit in every TV yeah, show. Yeah, we know, we know how the story ends. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. we know what's gonna happen. Yeah, so what else? And then of course he walked in, being yeah. all quiet. Shit's just too convenient in this fucking show. Yeah, I mean, I, I but that's what I'm saying. That's why I OC. <laughs> you know, I, I haven't fully decided yet, but that, we do need to watch OC because I never watched the OC. I, I watched oh, the OC. Oh, yep. so you went to, straight to Gossip Girl without OC? I did, yeah. That is so disrespectful. Is it the yeah. same, same Sorry. creator or like one of the uh -huh. executive yeah, producers or Schwartz. something? Yeah. But you know, in OC, it, everything is hella convenient. So mm -hmm. like it makes this show feel is going to feel like almost not convenient at all compared to OC. <laughs> it's like every turn is like, what the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> like it's like, it's <laughs> always like What never quizzed OC on? Um, uh, it was on Fox. I, I think know. Fox. It was on Fox. Sherman J. Frog. No, nah, Michigan J Frog, but it, it was on Fox. It, it, yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't CW or I guess it was uh, this WB. No. no, this was the first um, CW, right? It was WB before. CW. It was WB before. It was WB before, CW. before yeah, and then but Gossip yeah, then Girl is CW. Yeah, yeah. Nice. fascinating. And the game. Nice. There was a show called The Game that we used to yeah. watch. Yeah, mm -hmm. we should watch show. that next. <laughs> we should watch The Game, the original sitcom that turned into a drama. That was a sitcom that turned into a drama. It did. You're right. This, I forgot. I don't they like did that type of thing. But man, I don't like Sarah now. I don't want to see that Cyrano movie either. Cyrano the Bergerac? I'm <laughs> not going to see it. I yeah. did the Cyrano in my freshman year of college. My theater department did. That's oh, what, yeah. That's what play they should have done. Cyrano. That would have mm -hmm. been funny. That would have been hella fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, so. Where are we at here? Cause they, did they go to dinner yet? The yeah, they're going to dinner. Yeah. So they had dinner right now. And like. <laughs> and uh, they, uh, they're at dinner right now. And like he's just talking he running his mouth yeah. he's doing, he going nuts and Vanessa and Nate is like man shut up Yeah, no, Serena no, don't know none of the shit. shit that he knows about but he's just narcissistic and self absorbed yeah. and Serena's like but I love him <laughs> and it, it doesn't make no sense I realize in this it's moment true. I think I think he was trying to smash Nate or I think that whole because I think Nate was yes. like I, I, when Nate left <gasps> he was up. yes yeah. oh. Nate walks out and he's like Nate's got the right idea check please check, <laughs> I didn't, oh, but I didn't, right. at first I didn't get it I was like why, why did what a little leave? bit of but it came back later. Came back later, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Dan goes home, mm -hmm. asks Jenny for the note, but she tells him Big Ruth got the note. <laughs> I know she belabored the fuck out of that too. She's yeah, like, uh, uh, how I thought dress for her is good. Ruth Dan, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so how's so, the play? When, when's the did she write back? She coming? did write back. Yeah, she did. Mm -hmm. She yeah. did. It was cool. Yeah. Takes it up play. <laughs> uh, and Big Ruth dog walking in their house. Mm -hmm. click, click. You need to stay away from my son. Oh my god! Her lighting he like in with sixteen the candles. Yeah, yeah like a like bunch of huge taper huge candles. Huge taper yeah, candles. Yeah, she was over doing it. <laughs> well, like he looked he around. Caught. He was like, "Man, you really wasn't about to give my son some ass." <laughs> 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 he was like, "What y'all was going? What y'all was going to do tonight? Y'all yeah. was going to smash over here?" Like, yeah. Oh uh, man, Rufus is out of control. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how I feel about this. 
it was just, it, it, it's like weird. It's like, he's so intrusive, but also I get it. Yeah, I it's think like he 18. needs to just uh, not show up. He just needs to have Miss Carr get, get stood up. Yeah. Right. Like he could have just And the next day at Dan school, home. Big, if he's going to be there, because I guess he goes to their school every day, yeah. give her the key and yeah. go, don't do that again. Don't do that yeah, shit again. Yeah, yeah. Instead of like popping in and the candlelit dinner. It's like, super weird. <laughs> what if he started yep. eating the food? Yeah. Sorry, he's yeah. like, yeah, what you got here? Pork chops. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pork chops, yeah. green beans. No, this is over time. <laughs> like, here, put some, let me season you this a little this? bit. Yeah. And this ain't good. I cook. <laughs> yeah. I'm Rufus. I cook. Mm-hmm. So Dan is 18 now. He ain't having this shit. He's like, stay out of my life, Dad. Stay out of my life. I'm looking for a teacher. I can fuck my teacher if I want to, Dad. Yeah. I, how do y'all think she was supposed to be? Like, because she had had, like, five years' experience. Mm-hmm. You graduate college when you're 21. I think she's supposed to probably be late 20s. Late at youngest. Really? That's way too old. Yeah. You think? You think so? I mean, I, I mean, I, uh, it's way too old for what her how she's behaving. <laughs> yeah. But I don't know. I mean, may, maybe, maybe, so what, 25? I thought yeah, she I was, was going like to say mid-20s. Like a Teachers of America situation. She did say Teacher of America, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So she's young, up. so she's young. Okay. But you still probably. do Teacher of America after college, right? Is it I after or during? I think you could during? do it after high school, can't you? Oh, okay. That's good. I mean, I don't know. Maybe she's 22. 22. That's what I think. I think did y'all have young teachers? 22. Did you have young teachers in high school? I had a young, I had in middle school. Mm-hmm. I had a, a, a science teacher who was like 23, 24. I had a Me young too. teacher in high school. I don't think she was that young, but she was probably in her twenties. Yeah. When you think yeah. about that now, Oof. now that we are in our big ages. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> you think about like, man, this my kid is going to learn from a yeah twenty three year old. That's it, wild. They don't know shit. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it yeah. feels like. That's crazy. Have you talked to a twenty three year old lately? That's stupid. My little yeah. brother's 23. He's dumb as hell. You don't know anything. You don't know anything. But then again, like a ten, I guess a 15-year-old is even dumber. So. I was going to say, they, yeah. they, they, they like true. felt like such adults at the time. They did. Well, I guess it also, it's like, it's pretty limited, like what they, what, what they are obligated to impart. Yeah. You know, it's mm-hmm. like they could probably teach their subject yeah, like they go to a 15-year-old. Year but mm-hmm. you're right. No, they, but they were honestly better. That Like we had a young teacher, Mr. Lepresti. He was like, he was cool. He was kind of like a... Um, What's that basketball player? Probably like a Jason Kidd. Like mm-hmm. he had like this cool swag, and he played ball in college. But they were, he was teaching. Mm-hmm. He was man. The girls loved his ass. That was, <laughs> that was a sexy mm-hmm. motherfucker. But then I feel like um, you know I always liked him though because he was like closer to our age. So yeah. it was like the like he was always cool. Like he'd give you advice at girls and stuff. But he was never like. I don't know what he knew about like science and shit, but he definitely was like new. I feel like yeah. it, it was helpful in terms of like life shit. Like it was like, oh, it this, is, this person's like, like closer to my age, so I could listen to him more, as opposed to like an old ass teacher who mm-hmm. was like, who was like, well, one day you're gonna figure out, you know, yeah. Whatever. There's some merit to it at that, at that yeah. point. Yeah, yeah. Can I tell you guys something? Yes. It's a very vulnerable mm-hmm. moment. Right now. <gasps> so I grew up wanting to be a teacher, mm. but when I was younger, I was like, man, I can't be a teacher. Because the kids are gonna make fun of my last name. Really? I had a fear oh, that's really of that. <laughs> yeah. I, of course, now I don't care. Mm-hmm. But right. like, kids when are I was, scary. When I was like, kids when I was like scary. in middle school, I was like, man, I want to be a teacher, yeah. but the kids are gonna like. I, why was I thinking about that? You I know, mean, but like, it is like it is the most gonna, gonna consistent call me Mr. Thing throughout it's every so school. Every school, oh, Mr. they Fart. make fun of yeah. class. <laughs> Mr. Fart, hey, that's I, could be, I, was, I was like, yeah. Tart's a cool name. Oh, but they would call they would you Mr. Fart. They would call, they would call you Mr. Fart. Fart. You're right about that. Yeah, yeah. Like Carlos, <laughs> Carlito. We had a teacher. One of the young teachers we had. I think I was in in like eighth grade, and she was a sub, and she mm-hmm. told us to call her Michelle. She's like, call me Michelle. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Uh, that's she probably all... was like early 20s. See, Man, we I... gave her hell. Oh, my God, we gave her hell. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when I moved to L.A., my mom was an elementary school teacher her whole career. And so when I moved to L.A., she was like, well, you should do, you should substitute teach. Like, that'd be a great job. And I was like, mm-hmm. no, I will absolutely not go oh, to a I'm classroom terrified. of high schoolers. I was no. way too scared. I was like, I will never. Yeah. I will never. That's. I mean, even now, I'm like, Maybe I could do it now. But when I was 22, I was mm-hmm. like, they'll destroy me. Yeah. yeah. They're so scary. Oh, yeah. Man, we gave that woman hell. Oh yeah, we're the worst. We were the man. Yeah, it's a bad, it's a bad time. <laughs> yeah, I thought I was funny. Yeah, I, was, I thought they would have liked you. They would have, you would have been like, they would have the said worst. it with endearing. They would have been like tart, like in an endearing way. Yeah, yeah. I'm a teacher. I'm a kid who loved you. you I'd be a great teacher. I'd be a really good teacher. And they would absolutely love you. Hey folks, if you own a school, charter school, probably let me be a teacher. If you own a school, hey, I'm only doing charter school. They call me charter tart because I because I don't have a college degree. So, <laughs> I got a PhD, a player in his degree. degree. Uh, Anyone can substitute, right? I think yeah, so. Yeah, we can all do that. 
Let's you do a so? podcast at a school. <laughs> and then we'll, we'll, do a, we'll go to concert. You guys are supposed to be teaching these kids, and you've been in the teacher's lounge all day with these microphones. <laughs> uh, okay, Constance. back to the show. Actually, okay. no. We should take a we break. We got to take a break now. Okay. Uh, here's a word from our sponsor. We're back, we're back, we're back. We all snacked up. We mm-hmm. snacked up. Snacked up on a motherfucking Tuesday. Uh, what is that? What's that? Friday. Today, Today we is snacked Friday. up on a Friday. Uh, Julian is at Serena's house, and he's on, and she's on the phone with Vanessa doing the yeah, Cyrano the version. It's a scenario now. With the biggest Bluetooth earpiece. Yeah, that shit is huge. <laughs> that, that 2009 Bluetooth. She looks yeah. like an old black man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hello, hello. What I you told you I'm gonna be down there in 20 I'll minutes. Down, I'll be down there in 20 minutes. You got to give me some time. <laughs> Uh, Hello, can you hear me? <laughs> can you hear me though? He gets on his motorcycle, uh, and Nate comes, walks in on Vanessa. Yeah. And she's like, "Oh, Julian, you're so smart. <laughs> Just repeat everything I say." Yeah, like, man. And Nate's Classic like, Oh up. my God, she cheated on me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna you, stick around to find no, out. No, I'm, I'm not gonna, gonna confront around. her in this moment. I'm gonna just back away. Yeah. Yeah. That's why this couple is really working. My <laughs> yeah, I'm I sick d- of them. I do I not like this oh, couple. Like, yeah. Do not yeah, like this no, I was like I, said, I was on board, but you know, because we we'll, we'll get to the because we got to do the other episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. but like there, it's just they're they're way into each other's shit. Like just relax. Just it, relax. It's, like, just, it's just high school. Re- like just relax. Just relax. Oh my god, I, you gotta Vanessa relax. needs to relax just across the board. What do you think yeah. of Vanessa? Did you like her? No, I don't like Vanessa. Do, who did you? Uh, We'll, we'll talk about. Uh, we'll get to that. Okay, we'll get. To I want to know <laughs> some stuff like as because you like might be the first actual person who watched Gossip Girl <gasps> on the show, like who watched it in real time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like as a youth, I'd be curious your opinion on. I was like, okay, you great, would... great. Definitely was not aware of how insane it was that they're all in high school doing this. <laughs> yeah. Shit. What do you think of Vanessa, Sammy? I did, I did not like her either. Wow. wow, but you don't have no context. Yeah, it's <laughs> true. You missed, you missed the sandwich. She's coming, in, she's coming in blind. You you only saw the first. Piece I was just of bread I didn't like love anybody. I'll be honest with you guys. Yeah. <laughs> sure. I mean, sure. Even D Humphrey's in his, in a rough zone right now. Man, he's getting on my nerves too. Yeah, but he's making on my Dan, nerves Dan's though. in a tough spot Wait, right I feel now. Him. He's like he's like man, I'm trying to get with Miss Carr. Yep, <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> we, didn't get, we didn't get any Lily in this episode either. No Lily in this episode. No Lily, no, no air. Where she at? She's sitting at home with her glasses on her nose, reading a magazine. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? So Chuck goes see Carter Basin. Mm-hmm. He needs help getting a passport for L. Listen. I know we don't like each other, but yeah. I'm coming to you for a favor. Blah, blah, blah. And Carter's like, fine, I'll help her. And then that's when yeah. he lets down the window go, we'll take really good care of her. Yeah! <laughs> 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 Yeah, like, that was awesome. That, too. I like, that was a, I'll oh, give yeah, that one too. Yeah, 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 that was a good <laughs> yeah. moment. That I like that humdinger because I really, I like legit did not see that coming. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what the you fuck? Didn't? <laughs> nah. I saw it coming when Homeboy followed him out. I didn't, but I didn't see that until you, just right. until you told me just now. I didn't realize they had that happen. Yeah, yeah. I assumed that he was following because of L. Yeah, that, that could have been it. But like, right, how yeah, did she no, get linked up with yeah. Carter Bazin? Out of out of yeah. everybody, bro. I know. Right. Oh, that makes it in the, just in general, like yeah. the fact also, that she was even hanging. Right, Chuck, you don't have your own passport person. Come on. Yeah, you gotta right. go right. to Carter Bazin. Excuse yeah, me. Yeah, his passport person was like, he's on vacation or some shit. Like he, <laughs> oh, he gave yeah, an excuse. He did, yeah. he did okay. give an excuse as to why. I, like, I wrote down his quote because this line was insane. He told me he was rich, so I thought he could help me. Fair enough. Yeah. She 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 showing when, when somebody tells you who they are, believe them. Believe them. Yeah. She letting you know. Love, right yeah, there. And Chuck thinks some, somehow thinks that he's gonna be different. Yeah. So oh, well, I'm rich too, Chuck. but you also like me, right? Uh, yeah. 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 No, I, yeah, for sure. Totally. Yeah, for sure. I'm totally yeah. liking you. Uh, so Serena gets on Blair's head about the Gospel Girl post about a Yale acceptance because mm-hmm. Serena there was a Gospel Girl post saying like Serena only getting right. to Yale because of. You know, uh, she, they she want to write a page yeah, six. Yeah, yeah. Like, she's not smart. She's, she's just, not smart. Like, it's popular. Yeah. But Blair didn't do it. Yeah. Now she thinks Dan did. Blair yeah, is a lot of jumping to conclusions in this. A lot of jumping to conclusions. A lot of jumping to conclusions. Blair is on a revenge path. Mm-hmm. So Dan sees Miss Carr, and she's like, we can't be out here. There are people walking by. Mm-hmm. And Dan's like, here, come into this closet. Yeah. <laughs> and then <laughs> the play starts. Bum, 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 Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, no, they don't they have sex in that Not room? Not yet. We're going to get to that. Sorry. We're going to get to that. We're going to describe it in every Thank single you. Detail. I was just, I was just, this is what women M-Joy. subscribe to M-Joy yes. for. Yes. It's just yes. one of those details. It's me. Describe that. Miss Carr and Dan yes. <laughs> So, the play starts. Miss Carr's in the audience at this point. Wait a minute. 
Hold on. Oh, yeah. No, they do smash. Thank Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like, they do that part... like, this isn't going to work. What isn't? So they, they staying have sex away before from each play, other. He like kisses the inside sense. of her wrist and she's wearing a big yeah. charm bracelet and it oh, stuck oh, out to me. I love that charm, charm bracelet. bracelet. Yeah. The biggest big reveal. Big fan of the bracelet. I was a big Rural fan of that from, bracelet. People used to have, girls used to have those. I used to have one. Tiffany? It really took me back. I don't think mine was from no. Tiffany, but it was just yeah. like you'd get a charm from each place you went. I had one from like where I go on vacation. I'm like, got to find a charm for my charm bracelet. We got to bring that back. I like that. That'd That'd that's fun. Fun. I still have mine somewhere. Yes. Mine got real big. Real big, heavy, yeah. obnoxious. You're running into things. <laughs> what kind of charms you have? What, what, what your charms talking about? <laughs> I had one from like Catalina Island of, I don't know, yeah, like fish yeah. or something. Cool. <laughs> I like it would just be a little shoes souvenir. Because I, I was a yes. dancer, so I had like a little piano. Like, little part of your personality. Yeah, yep. little, I had a little yeah. piano because I played piano. Mm-hmm. And I had then, cat. yeah, you have like places you went. Like I went to Bermuda when I was a kid, and I think I had like a little seashell, a triangle, a person. I'm looking really scared. Yeah. I'm playing I'm playing You know what? Amelia Earhart me, with a big question mark. I feel like for me back then, the 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 boy athlete charm bracelet was mm-hmm. the live strong bracelets. Oh my oh, god, yeah, the live strong bracelets. Was like I had like three yep. on each uh-huh. arm. Uh-huh. Yep. Where they call when you your school? They were in, we were wearing rubber bands a lot. Yeah, I'm gonna, the, is that the Atlanta thing? Those were oh. the rubber bands, that, like the, those mm-hmm. Livestrong ones. Strong you, had ones to live, yeah. you had to have the Livestrong one because that one was like the cool Because if you don't yeah, have yeah. that one, you don't care about cancer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, you, and you got no sweat. Yeah, and you live weak. Like, you live weak. Exactly. And then, you know, I would get like, you know, you get other ones like. Yeah. I had like a color. I had a Clippers like, one. Yeah. I had yep. a, like, I had all That's these right. like. I had a bunch. And I used to wear them shits all the time. And I remember one time. You could not wear them on the basketball court. Like, mm. you had to take them off before the game. And one time I forgot to take mine, uh, take mine off before the game. And coach put me in the game, and I had him on. And I was like, oh, shit. And the ref saw me. He was like, tech. He gave me a technical foul. Mm-hmm. And that, like, you know, gives the other team two points because I had wow. the things on my coach. He he wanted to punch me in the face. Why is He was so that? mad. Yeah, what's the big deal? Stupid, like, a stupid, like, high school basketball rules. Uh-huh. They, they were saying yeah. somebody's hands could get caught points. in there and break. Like <laughs> my hands got in the lip strong. My, ah! <laughs> oh, no, my hand both got into and stuck in yeah. your lip strong bracelet. Close line, somebody. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was real stupid. But I remember, I remember, I got, I got in such big trouble for that. Damn. My oh, coach yeah, was like, if I ever see them motherfucking things on your wrist again. I but, feel like coaches hate simple mistakes. Like yeah. they, they hate when you make yeah. mistakes that can be. Avoided. I'm just like, hey, then don't coach high school. Yeah. They're gonna do stupid yeah. Why things. Why don't you coach the NBA where they don't make any mistakes? They don't make any mistakes. <laughs> when we grow up, we don't make mistakes. Um, that reminded me too of the jelly bracelets. Do you remember the jelly bracelets? Mm-hmm. And different colors meant different things. Remember the slap bracelets? Oh yeah, yeah slap I remember bracelets. those. But like, did you guys those have jelly scary. bracelets that like meant certain? Like, if you wore like a black bracelet, it meant like you weren't a virgin or something. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 I don't know about that. I don't so, remember uh, the jelly bracelet. We had that. Mm, no, I don't know about that. We ain't had yeah. it. Is that a Florida thing? <laughs> Florida. Thing? I wore. Wait, you a bracelet Florida? that just said I'm not Those, a virgin. Yeah. No, just play. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that's no, fun. Kind of like a, have some recollection of what you're talking about. Kind of like a mood ring type thing. Yes, and it was like it was like very urban legend. Like I don't know that anybody actually like, kicked, but it was like, yeah. oh, she has this color jelly bracelet that like means she's a slut. Oh, I don't remember. That. Did y'all I don't remember. Um, we did have that, and then the, yeah, the black ones did mean that you. Some people, the white yes. in high school meant you were a virgin. Oh my God, mm-hmm. thank you. you. I'm looking this up. Ooh, it's like the really? slutier you are. I've never heard of that. Jelly Yeah, you gotta show me what jelly braces are. Meaning, thank you. Jelly sex bracelets and their color meanings. Yeah, that sex been. bracelets. You... Oh my God, yes. Okay, this is this is all like flooding back into my brain. They looked like this. They looked like oh, little rubber bands. Yeah. Maybe people had those. We didn't. See. I didn't have those. They look like these little guys. Oh, the skinny ones. They're really yeah. skinny. Yeah. And okay. Okay. Oh, okay, and you okay. like put them together They're like two sex bracelets like that. Yeah, you could do that. Mm. You could do that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Yellow <laughs> indicates the wearer is willing to hug. It's a long list. I can't possibly read all these. Willing to hug. Uh, pink indicates the wearer is. Oh, it's all about things you're like willing to do. That's all sex yeah. related. All sex related. These are sex bracelets, Sammy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> pink yeah, indicates the wearer is willing to give a hickey. Which one? Willing to go to Six Flags. Oh my God! Me. One indicates if you're bi. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. There was a lot of bi going on back then. Yeah. Oh, this one is saying white indicates the wearer will flash what they have. Okay. Oh my God! Black indicates that the wearer will have regular missionary sex. Okay. Oh my God. Anyway, so sex bracelets. Sex bracelets. Interesting. Yeah, that feels like a lot to remember. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I know. There's that's absolutely no way anybody harder. was keeping yeah. track of that. Um, <laughs> All that shit. I wonder what did God. all these kids have them on under their play costumes. 
Because the play has started. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you brought us back. You brought us back. Miss Carr. to the left. <laughs> yeah. to the to the right. right. Uh, Miss Carr in the audience. They go, the play going crazy. Mm. Blair mad at Dan. So they got a whole scene where they doing it. Miss Carr, Miss Carr, she's like she about to cry. It's like, why are you here? <laughs> go home, Miss Carr. Yeah, you should not she be here. She can't bear yeah, to miss here. a Get performance. She's like, I'm in love with Dan, huh? I'm in love with D, huh? She she knows that, but like she on stage with Blair and, and they like mm -hmm. they'll do their lines and they'll whisper to each other. I, I thought that was fun. That. That I like that. Fun. Yeah, I, yeah. I like that. I like I like. I'm telling you, I like seeing them. And there's like dancing. a part where they have to kiss and she's like yelling at him real close in his face yeah. back yeah. to audience, so it looks like they're making out, but really she's screaming. Out. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty was tight. That was, that was cool. Uh, but it, is this when they she finds out it? Or this is when Dan figures out who did it. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So Dan thinks Miss Carr. Is hitting Gossip Girl, mm -hmm. and that's when he like just kind of looks it up and goes, "Wait a minute! If I'm not doing it, yeah, and Vanessa didn't do it, I, and <laughs> this person didn't do it, then it must be." <gasps> it's funny too because he's really what he's really saying is like, "I'd be pillow talking like a motherfucker." Yeah, yeah. yeah. So basically he's like, he's yeah, like, you know, I'd be running my fucking mouth. Yeah. 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 <laughs> This, it's yeah. so funny because Miss Carr should have known none of this none shit. None of that stuff. They probably right. was in the bed. He was like, so Serena, Serena, she, she couldn't even so really get in the yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just so, blabbing his yeah. fucking mouth. That shit is crazy. This yeah. dude dead is so he, whack he, for that. Yeah, he's whack as hell. Oh so God. Nate comes out and blows the whole play up. He don't know his lines. <laughs> he, think, he, he sees Vanessa sitting next to Julian, the director. I absolutely love it. Mm -hmm. He this thinks that they're trying to date each other. Julian he whispering so loudly into Vanessa's ear, he always has trouble with this part. Like, do a stage whisper. When you off stage, but like, do a stage whisper. Okay, man. That shit is so funny. That was funny. That was such God. a weird. <laughs> that was such a weird edit. He's <laughs> like, so he has funny. He's trouble with his lines. I'm he not. I'm not trouble with his lines thing. here. Yeah. Uh, so, Vanessa, mm -hmm. go. Uh, wait, the director, like going crazy, like yeah. at the end of the play because they done fucked it up. And the guy who was in the audience, who was supposed to be like the the reviewer, yeah. who I feel like was a real play reviewer because he was a bad actor. Oh yeah. my god! In his thick blue he turtleneck, he was incredible. <laughs> yeah, we like, that outfit, Emily. You like it? I kind of like this outfit. <laughs> I think I it's think it, I think it can work. Yeah, I do yeah. Think it can I like work. a good look. What do you uh, think about a, a turtleneck outfit. under a, a turtleneck under a suit at a wedding? Depends on the wedding. Depends. On like we mean, like is it a? a I could see it working. Depends on the wedding. Like, <laughs> like what type of weddings are there? Uh, well, if it's cold. <laughs> uh, oh, you mean like depends on the weather? <laughs> uh, it depends on the weather. I no, I think a winter work. a I, winter I, wedding. I also think like um, we're sort of like very much leaning back into a '70s aesthetic, and that's a real mm -hmm. '70s look to do yeah. like a turtleneck on a man. Yeah. And I think if you are, to me, style in general is all about intentionality. If you're mm. like making a choice and it's a look, it'll work. Yeah. It's a look. Mm -hmm. I, um, I like to make a look at a wedding. We've been at weddings. Oh, you oh, you just say. I mean. Y'all last year at a wedding. Ooh, the uh, looks. Cases wedding, yeah. We, Ooh, the looks. I love. I I I say I love to do a look. You got. You gotta go for a look. You gotta go. Yeah. For a look. Have some fun. You know. But sometimes I'll fun? tell you when we went to that wedding and we all walked out with those suits on, and too like we all had attention. hats. It was a little bit too much attention, and there were other homies there. I won't name no names. There are other homies there who put in <laughs> minimal effort. Yeah. Well, it was a comedy and wedding. That's had in like. <laughs> Fucking Birkenstocks on and shit. Yeah. And I'm like, man, I done came through with the fly yeah, shit. I'm you guys looked like, very good. I'm like, man. We like, we and that, was a, Kentucky Derby. that was a great a, like aesthetic to dress for oh, yeah. for that wedding. That yeah. picture, yeah, that, came, that, picture that we took vibes. came out. I, that's you one of my favorite pictures I've ever taken. So good. Yeah, yeah. I love that pic. Yeah, uh, the three of, with the three of us. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that shit was one of my favorite pictures ever taken. So good. Pocket squares, everything. Anyway, the guy comes up. He likes to play. He I goes, love how it was like a modern take he on goes, an old play. Yeah, he's like, uh, uh, the director's like, I'm sorry, let me explain. He goes, explain what? I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> I love Without that. taking a breath. No breath in between. Explain, explain what? what I I, explain what I loved it. Explain what I loved it. Vanessa goes to see Nate. Uh -huh. Vanessa goes to see Nate. Oh, Nate they had a mad. fight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nate mad because he's like, well, okay. Like, but yeah, I, we don't have anything in common. Oh yeah, and she got that little mesh bag of snacks. Yeah, Is that that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the mesh bag of snacks. Yeah, <laughs> right. I was like, she got a fucking mesh bag of snacks. <laughs> She's so broke. <laughs> oh no no no! This, no, this later. Is this later. This they're later. at school. They're at school, yeah, they're still, and she explains yeah. like I wasn't actually flirting with Julian. He's like, well, it, it doesn't matter because we have nothing. It in doesn't common. matter. We got nothing in common. You watching that oxygen? You like I'm watching ESPN. But when that show ends, she all on my skin, low shin, slow on my <laughs> <laughs> tiger. little tiger for y'all. Uh, but yeah. Uh, basically, like he's like, we have nothing in common. You like all this cool shit, and I like ESPN. I'm like, yeah, but you rich, and she broke. 
Yeah. So L was using Chuck. I actually felt bad for Chuck a little bit in this moment. Uh, she walked. She was like, "Maybe I get find it. somebody who cares." Yeah, she does say it pretty mean. Yeah, she's, she's just like, like you, yeah, you're, you're, you have a good heart. Next time, give it to somebody who cares." cares. I was I like, "Yeah, I, was like, yeah. I, I feel like I was and like." And so he goes, yes. "Oh, okay." Because I feel like Chuck didn't even really know this. Girl. Like, what, what no. are you doing? Like, yeah. you don't know this girl. Like, stop chasing her around. He's yeah. so Chuck is just lost. He's, He's lost. He's a lost, lost brother. Uh, Dan confronts yeah. Miss Carr about Gossip Girl. And she actually did do that shit. Yeah, yeah. That was crazy. That was a humdinger. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. that's humdinger, humdinger, humdinger. Humdinger. Yeah. You guys can shake these too. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be afraid. Oh. Yeah, it's loud. That's it gets loud. loud. Yeah. Uh, I used to play one on my computer. The volume is perfect on the audio when you hear it back. Yeah. <laughs> she, uh,. She actually did do that shit, and she was like, "I, I got my life ruined." Yeah, like, fuck her. Fuck these kids. I don't, she's like, he's like, yeah, but, yeah, but you know what? No, I'm out of here. You're not, you're not the person who I thought you were. Yeah. And mm-hmm. I put my notes here, and I think this is very important. Dan can be a real bitch sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he can. He is like, oh yes, my he god, can that's be what, a real yeah, bitch. That's why he and Serena about. have chemistry. The Two way bitches. he just like just started telling everybody right away. Are also, you, like, fuck you, like, don't be judging her. But also, like, yeah. he did have a good point, though. He's like, you're a teacher. <laughs> yeah, he was like, she's in high school, you're, you're not. But then he does something which is pretty gross, which is he goes to her and he goes, it was Rachel, and uh, we just had sex in the closet, so you said. Oh, yeah, that's like, if you want yeah, to. Yeah, that was yeah. yeah, I'm like, Jesus yeah. Christ. Man, you, yeah, so like, do, do, you... With, with, do it with your will with that. Right, there's nothing like Like, you think that this can't get you... Also, like, like yeah. you made half for that choice, you know? Yeah. Like, it's, don't judge her for that. Yeah. yeah. That's nuts. Like, Dan, he just so whacked to me. I was like, you gonna yeah. throw this away? Yeah. Miss Carr's the hottest woman on this show. <laughs> you gonna throw this away like this, Dan? This shit is stupid, Dan. It was crazy. Like, the hot more, like, first of all, everyone uses Gossip Girl. It's yeah. not like... It's everyone, like, you've used it's it? It's the premise of the show. Like, she could use <laughs> Gossip Girl. Like. Yeah. Man, if I, was, if I was in this school, if I was in Dan's position... I would fight to the nail to make sure Miss Carr <laughs> kept her job. Huh? And I'm going to that I'm going to her classroom every lunch. <laughs> and I only need half the lunch period. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. She got, Daddy. Candles, she got all the candles lit in her classroom for dinner. Yeah, hey, lucky. <laughs> Y'all start a small fire. Florida ceiling candles. Uh, Florida, like, Florida like, ceiling like, candles. Like, they, they were serving <laughs> hot legs for lunch today. So I brought uh, you some extra yeah, milk. They serving hot links. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, she just bring a bunch of hot links in there. She's yeah, like, I, 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 I have my own lunch. Carl. It's barbecue I, day. I brought my lunch. You don't want I, these I, I hot went to, links? I went to Wendy's. You don't want these hot links? <laughs> I, can, I can go. I can go off campus. These Trevor are milk, the famous. Milk? These are Saint yeah. Jude hot links. But it was weird. Like, let's talk about this for a second. Well, okay, is should Dan and Miss Carr be together? Yes. Like, <laughs> what do y'all think? No. Uh, no. Because she's a teacher, I or because so. you don't like that couple? You don't like Dan because she's better than Dan. She is better than Dan. Um, I mm-hmm. think I think wanting to date a high schooler. At any point, <laughs> while you're not currently also in high school, is absolutely insane. But what if they? Yeah, but he's 18. <laughs> it's not what about if the age. what if the high schooler is age, gorgeous? About, he doesn't know shit. Ben Bagley a, is the baddest. Mm-hmm. No, man. Okay. I mean, but it's just like I just think that's you're 20. Like, I just think that's absolutely crazy. Yeah, it's, it's not that crazy yeah. though. I mean, what, he's I don't 18. Know, I'm saying if he if, if, if they didn't go to school, not age. Yeah, I feel like I knew so many people in high school. I mean, yes, the teacher part is unprofessional. But if we're talking mm-hmm. about the age, I feel like I know so many people that was 18 in high school that was dating, like, 20-year-old, 21-year-old. I think like yeah, I, I think she's 22. Yeah. Yeah. I have problems when people are, when it's, like, a bigger age difference and one of them is, like, 18 or early 20s and the other person yeah. is, like, in their 30s. I feel like that's a little grosser. That's yeah, but bad. I feel like when you're, like, 20... 22 and 18 like you're both dumb right yeah, yeah. that's true yeah. that's that's maybe fair that's maybe and then fair. but, but also, the teacher agree, aspect like, she, she should wait till he graduates i don't like yeah yeah, yeah she because that's just bad. Yeah. which one is what like a two months she's away a bad teacher. just like chill out he just he just fumbled the bag though I'm t- he fumbled yeah. the bag because i feel like dan also hold up we're getting too caught up in the politics i think yeah <laughs> no, but, but if you really think about the art because now i'm seeing what carl said you gotta think about where he's where he's at in his life he just went through this breakup with Serena, and yes. Serena, to me, I hated that relationship. I hate and I was like, they don't have nothing to comment. I don't know why they're together. It's just stupid to me. But Miss Carr, they actually have stuff in common. They do actually have stuff in common. I feel like that if, if she wasn't a teacher, if she wasn't a teacher, I'm yeah. not out here promoting teacher stuff, but I feel like that could have <laughs> been a good couple. 
Yeah, don't, don't 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 come at us as if we're promoting this now. This a, this a, this a, if it was me, I would be if promoting I wrote this it. Scene. <laughs> I would be passing out flyers. It'd be like, um, yo, Miss Carl, Carl, like Miss Carl, Carl, Miss <laughs> Carl. That's a girl, Miss Carl. But also, so with my second question, I guess we're gonna get to Roof. Is Roof scene next when he yeah, talks yeah, to yeah. Roof? Yeah, well, no. Like, Vanessa brings the 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 mesh bag of oh, yeah. mesh bag of snacks. Like, where did you find this? Yeah, at? and what snacks are in there? Cause they didn't look tight. I brought oranges. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> she's so poor. <laughs> they really make her like she's, she's really poor. She's the only like, she's, one who's actually poor. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, Humphreys ain't poor. They're like, well, Dan lives in Brooklyn. It's like in a fucking yeah, awesome like, apartment. Vanessa yeah. is basically living Vanessa, at that coffee shop. I don't know I where she lives. She was sleeping in the gallery. Only climbs in through the window. Yeah. Oh god! But uh, Dan, so that. yeah, this one Dan and Roof patch it up with the ice cream. Yeah, and it was, but he's right. Like this is what I wanted to ask. So like, is was Roof Dog being too intrusive or like was nah, he being man, a good that's dad? Nah, man, that's his kid. Like you, that's I, I figure if if this was happening to me, mm-hmm. my mom would be very upset. I was yeah. gonna say I had a pretty intrusive mom as well. So it's uh, I mm. I my parents would have been. That, she would have been, been involved. She would have like, You gotta let me make my own mistakes. Yes. He's like, you could do that shit when you out of my house. Like, yeah. That's true. Oh, you yep. did say that. Because it, here's the thing: like when we're, when we're that age, my mom was very, very strict mm. on me just because she was like nervous. Because I was like, you know, I mean, mm-hmm. yeah. not to get too deep, but like, I was a very tall, large, black man, and I was only yeah. a teenager, so anything could happen to me, you know. Mm-hmm. Like, and so she was like, I'm not like I couldn't walk to the store yeah. at nighttime. I couldn't, and I'm like, Mom, yeah. I'm fucking like 18. She's like, you stay in this house. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. You wanna you wanna go to the store, you take the car or something you're not walking to I also think the yeah. argument of like you should let me make my own mistakes, it that's true, but not if the mistake is fucking your teacher. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah like, that's a wild That's different than like but it's you know car, let, though. Me, <laughs> <laughs> let me you know, m- learn things. It's like, yeah, but you were just gonna have sex with her because you're a horny teen and yeah. it's like that's okay. Yeah. But, but she, he, yeah. Ruth said, like when you get to Yale, man, Carry make on. all the mistakes you want yeah, yeah, to. That's uh-huh. true. Mm-hmm. All right, I think it's all good right. parenting. But I feel like it's weird. I don't know why my, house, I just feel like Dan Roof was being was being a little crazy. I like. mean, I think we were right earlier when we said he should have just gone to the school the next day or whatever and like given yeah, it back. Yeah, I just the didn't key. like the way he it's walked like a up step, in her house. A little like, step okay. too far going into the house. I feel like Roof but went the, over there. But his like, heart's in the right place. Yeah. I feel like Roof went over there to be like, can you can I have good? some dinner? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, it's like yeah, people who are sort of like I'm the original. You stay away from my son, but me. But you're free though. Yeah. Since you ain't got nothing to do tonight, I mean, I guess we could kick it a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> nice that would be insane. Like, but I feel like it, that would have been insane if you had done that. Yeah, yeah I mean, because I, 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 it's not crazy parenting. to think of like the I, I that could see Gossip Girl doing something like that. <laughs> yeah, like, yes, but, like, for sure. I, it would have been a crazy. But I think they couldn't do it. With Ru- Rufus. No, to add a character for yeah, Rufus. yeah. But it would. I guess see that happening with somebody else. Did uh, Ruth and Dan have this battle over Miss Card? That would have been tight. Yeah, that would have so, been a cool arc, but. I, the way they got rid of Miss Carr is, is wild. Yeah, I mean they just did we get that I don't jump the gun. Serena goes to see Blair's. She admits this, she being trash and just wants to be alone. I love this scene. I love Blair being like I'm shitty. I'm shitty. Oh, I love see, it. See, this is why Blair's dope. Let's, Ta- let's, I'm let's go. I'm telling you because she know now she's acknowledging it. Blair has but, more self awareness than Serena's else. unaware of herself at all. Yeah. Like Serena she's like she's never so knows when she's fucking up. Great. Yeah, like she. Like doesn't know that oh, we didn't talk about how the teacher's gay. Basically, he, oh she's my God. like, and she sends a text. Julian? He's gay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That it was such big it's... font too. He's like, he's gay. <laughs> Full screen. God. Yeah. Right Rachel after sends commercial. Dan a note saying she's going back to Iowa. That made me sad. That's what I'm saying. Like, something's not right with yeah. this whole arc. I hope I think, she comes back. I think something happened because I think she either got fired or I don't know. Because yeah. I don't understand like why they got I guess rid of her the so teacher fast. thing is bad, but like not in this world. In the gossip in this girl world, world, so much worse. Like that's happened. not like yeah. That to me wasn't enough for her to leave the city. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I was it was upsetting because I was like, oh man, like she was a good foil, and then they just they basically they just pulled her in for an her. episode and then got rid of her. Yeah. Yeah. I don't understand why they did that. There yeah. must be a reason. I think there's a reason. Maybe. Should, maybe. You should look it they up. got her rid of her so fast. They were like, I'm going back to Iowa. <laughs> yeah. Maybe yeah. she booked something. Maybe she booked another teacher role. Maybe. Chuck shows up to Blair's house. <laughs> teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck shows up to Blair's house, and Dorota's like, Miss Blair's not here. And then yeah. he's like, I'll wait for her. But she's still at the bar. Oh, baby. And Carter Bazin walks uh, in. Yeah. Home oh, dang it. Let's go. Carter <laughs> Bazin. <laughs> Uh, it's so loud with four people. That's no, really overwhelming. Uh, That'd be crazy. Uh, uh, that was crazy. Carter Basin, he getting at it. He's like, can I buy you a drink? Yeah. Thyra. 
Ooh. A little thigh rub for you. And Blair's like, The way she, it. like, drunkenly goes, Carter. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. Crazy. All right. Um, is Carter 21 or nobody is? He is a couple <laughs> years older <laughs> than question. that. <laughs> nobody. It's so fun. At that dinner, they were all drinking wine. I love, she's Blair's got her little martini. Drinking a martini. I just absolutely yeah, love no the, like, we this. don't ever talk about, I mean, they're rich, which is probably the truth. When you're that rich in Manhattan, you could probably do whatever the fuck you want. But it is so funny to me how infrequently we go, like, oh, right, children. These yeah. are children. Um, yeah. Carter's probably not 21. No, he's, I think he's, he's just a couple years older than them. Yeah, he's like two two grades right, older cool. than them. Um, and then Blair's definitely 18. Come in her birthday. Now she's eight, right? But yeah. I was thinking. So, and in, in, we're talking about like how in the world of the show that teacher relationship is honestly mm. pretty mild. Because I was remembering when I was in my doing my like look back on up until now in Gossip Girl that um, a classic episode, the Victor Victrola, where mm. Chuck opens his club. Yeah, and yeah. Claire, or Claire, uh, Blair does burlesque. Yeah. She is 16 years old when that oh, happens. Yeah. And there is an audience of people this is, yeah, that they was are wild. watching a child take her clothes <laughs> off. Yeah, everyone's just sitting there like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, she's hot. Like, yeah, Wait yeah. a minute. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of like weird stuff like that. Pretty wild. Uh, we were trying to figure out the Jack Bass thing too, where Jack I Bass was is to like that. way older. Than, He's way too old. Yeah. He's way, way too old. There is something funny. I, I was. Uh, I don't know if y'all caught this. It just made me laugh. But I wrote it in my notes. But uh, there's this moment where Dorota. First of all, Dorota and Blair have boundary issues. Like they need to Absolutely. like separate, please. Yeah. It's, yeah. Just, it's like they're super in mess. Friends, but also mother daughter, but also uh, staff. Yeah. And <laughs> there a was boss. This and, yeah. yeah. So right when they were in the play. I don't know if y'all caught it. She was so funny to me. But the like, two made outfits. Yeah, yeah. They got that. She like they didn't look at each other like. Like, like the girls in her made of it. I was like, what? So that funny. was so funny. I was like, what a funny joke. They're just and then the other and Nelly Yuki's like, and we also part when they all start complaining on stage, and Nelly Yuki's like, I don't like this fat suit. Yeah. <laughs> that shit was hilarious. Anyway. I wish there was a play within every episode of this show. Yeah, that would be always. Uh... Also putting on a play. <laughs> that's so, that's other than so that, Mrs. Lincoln, how was the play? No, <laughs> we got to rate this episode. All right. I'm gonna give it a three star, three uh, XOXOs, I think. Three? This shit was whack. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the play. Things. I don't like the Age of Innocence. I don't think I like the actual Age of Innocence play. The actual play? Um, I don't know. Maybe I feel like uh, I just didn't like that fucking story where they were trying to date the direct, where the Serena. Yeah, that thing. was whack. That shit was whack. I didn't like uh, Miss Carr getting kicked out like that. I didn't like how that happened. It just felt like. I, if I guess what I'm trying to say is, Miss Carr's in the first two episodes, she was she's highly intelligent, and then all of a sudden it just seemed like she just went to like she just like yeah. making a mistake after she mistake. Got beaten like down. it's like the, it like it reminds me of um, uh, Tyrion and Game of Thrones when he just he was like the smartest guy, and then I was uh, anyway. Yeah, yeah at the end of the show, they started podcast. writing. Yeah, he just ended, ended up being stupid. Him, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna three. do three. So that's XOXO, XOXO, XOXO. 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 Yeah, just Damn. it. It's out of five. Out of five XOXOs. Um, I'm gonna go two point seven five. Two point seven five. Dang, Miss Queller. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. Shout out to Miss. Uh, what's her name? Stephanie Queller. What's the real? I don't know. Can you look around? I want to know what she's doing. Working on now. Jessica hey. Queller. No, I don't know. I think it was Jessica. Maybe. Was it Jessica? Uh, but hey, look. No disrespect. We know how it is. The writers' room. Everybody, Every everybody writes it. everything. It ain't, everybody it ain't her. I can't, I can't, but I can't. you know, I'm, yeah. I'm intrigued. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued, and I'm gonna watch more. I just, Hell, I could, I could see yes. the potential in this yeah. show, mm-hmm. and yeah, I, I'm, I just it's don't know great. that this it's, was the best one. It. I, I, I haven't yet met one person who started watching it who didn't want to keep watching. I know. Yeah, I know. And we, we're I'm big uh, Riverdale heads, which yep. is another oh, yeah. hot, hot team. I love the OC too. So and man, I had also forgotten how horny this show is. Oh yeah. Oh mm-hmm. my God, this show is horny. This was a, a relatively mild episode as far as horniness goes. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> oh man, excited like, to get back in. Yep. That's why I was so like that. Well, that when anyway, I don't want to keep talking about the teacher sex thing. <laughs> 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 that was my favorite part of the series. I loved when Dan when they hooked up though. I can't believe when Dan went over. to the door and, and, they, and she was like, "I don't work there no more." That shit was yeah. sexy. Yeah, yeah. the show know. has a lot of moments like that. We were yeah. like, oh. uh, but yeah, I'm Carter Basin and Blair. Where we should get at? I'm ex. I am ex. I'm gonna now. I yeah, now that we've rate. talked about it. I can watch the next episode, which I will, and I am so excited. Do we count? I will. Also we didn't count. Oh, we didn't yeah. do Sammy. So Sammy's was two point seven five. So that's XOXO. 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 That's it. Yeah, that's it. XOX. What do you 
M Dog. M Joy. Um, M Joy. Um, thank you. Um, I'm gonna give it just to do different um, X's. Uh, I'm gonna do three. <laughs> 3.125. 3. <laughs> 3. 3. And and I didn't think it was a I didn't think it was a great episode, but it got me back into Gossip Girl. Yep. And yeah. that I am very excited about. And it did have some of the I mean like it had Blair being yeah. very Blair. I liked the Dan and Blair back and forth. I just think those two actors are also just really good and fun to watch yep. yeah. um, on this show. And I'm excited about Carter Bazin. I didn't realize how much I liked him. about Carter yeah. Bazin. I'm excited to see. I I also like when like Blair goes bad, you know. Mm-hmm. She stops trying to be Little Miss Straight A, and I when we're about to see it, I think. So I'm oh yeah, pretty excited for what we're setting up here. Three well, we point. We gotta get you guys back. One, two, five. Three point one two five. So that's X O X O X O X O X O X O. What do you think with Shelly Shell? Um, I will give it a three point two five. There were some moments where I was like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're like, oh shit, I forgot my clothes in the dryer. <laughs> um, yeah, you know what's interesting? We're all kind of in the same space. It was just like, it is it what fine. it was. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, when I was like excited to watch Gossip Girl, I was excited mm-hmm. to get Sammy into it. Yep. But if I were like going to pick an episode yeah. to be like, oh my God, Sammy, you have to watch this episode of Gossip Girl, this is not the one I would pick. Yeah. yeah. But it's also not like, it's not terrible. It's it, just yeah, a, it, like, had, it had everything a Gossip Girl episode had. It like, does. It's like all the ingredients. It's, it's like good. a comforting formula to me. Like mm-hmm. I could just feel the pieces are all there. And, all the pieces are there. Uh, and yeah, I, I will well, be I'm watching excited. more. We're going to bring y'all back and we'll see where if y'all caught up. Okay, yeah, us. hell yeah. I'm gonna all right, so what did you say, Shelly? 3.25. Okay. 3.25. So that's XOXO, 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 XOXO. Oops. <laughs> what do you think, Tart Daddy? All right, everybody's giving it low scores. Okay. Oh, well, it was the goodbye to your your beloved. Goodbye to you. <laughs> goodbye to you. Uh, I'm gonna give the episode a three point one five one. One fifty one Malibu rum pineapple juice. Uh, that is. XOXO, 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 Flim, cough. I've been, uh, I have uh, mucus from sleeping with the AC on. Yep, mm, uh, so that happens. a trick that I heard. Oh, this is what I did. I, I got a humidifier and I, I put them on at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what smart. you gotta do. That's what you gotta yeah. do. That's smart. what you gots to do. You gots to do that. I got yeah. an email from Wingstop. Okay. I think I'm gonna eat this after the show. <laughs> All right. I love to do All that. Right, we got you. a little news. <laughs> yeah, I just got two news stories. Mm-hmm. So big, big news in Doja Cat world. So Doja Cat was on the internet talking, trying to slide in the DMs of the homie from Stranger Things. Y'all know about that? Yes, I saw this. It's yeah. wild. And then now she's mad at the other guy. Noah for, Schnapp? Noah. I don't know which one is which because I don't watch Stranger Things. I don't watch it either, but I don't. Okay, I, I just watched it. Who's, what? Who, you okay, have to look so. him up because Noah Schnapp's one of the main kids and Doja Cat basically DM'd him In, trying accident? to. No, on purpose. No, on purpose to try to get to the other guy who I think his name is Joseph Quinn. That's or what, something I didn't know who like that, that was. I knew, oh, I knew he I must be new. Just in the latest season. Oh, so season, he's a newer guy. Yeah. And he is so good. Oh, oh, okay, okay. So Noah Schnapp is the kid, um, Will, who, like... Yeah, he's, yeah, like, he's one of the main, main kids. Kid. He's yeah. the main kid. God, he... Yeah. He was really cute when he was little. <laughs> what? Uh, you, you know this being recorded, right? I do, okay. I do. Uh, so um, that... Wait, so who's the other guy then? The guy that she liked. The guy the guy that's a new one, I think. Uh, he's like a new show? one. Like I haven't stuff. watched this this new season. I've watched this new one. Okay, I'm sorry, they're, they're beefing, yeah. Because now so she's he, mad because he, he, posted put, he posted a DM. He posted a screenshot of her DMs to him, which I think is pretty fucked up. That... Yeah, I thought at first I thought she posted it. I thought but I didn't realize he posted it without her permission. That's yeah. Yeah. Also, I mean to be fair, I'm reading this article and he is seventeen. So we were talking about how kids are stupid, like he, he was like, it's oh, my true. God. I was like, don't you got this is funny. Okay. You know, so, like, it's true. she's 29, he's 17. But the other actor is older. He's not He's not gotcha. a child. So here's the question is, who do we want to see Joja Cat date next on our show? <laughs> In Gossip World yeah, or between who you, you two? <laughs> yeah, between us. Uh, who, who, do you think, who do you think Doja Cat would date on, um, Carl's favorite on character. Gossip Girl? It will be a good Doja Cat couple. 
her and Nate. I think she would like Dan, probably. I was going to say Dan. She would like Dan. She'd ruin him. Who? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you care to ruin Dan. Yeah, I I could I feel like yeah, it's gonna and be then, Dan. Uh, I can see Doja Cat also dating uh, Nate or no? Uh, yeah, I guess Dan. I guess that's it. I think yeah. Dan. All we all felt it. Uh, felt okay, right. here's the other story. Donald Glover's got a new sneaker deal with New Balance, which is pretty cool. So my question is, who sneakers on? Like, who do you want to see get a sneaker deal on the show? And would you wear those sneaker deals? character or actor? A yeah, character, yeah. Oh my God. Um. <laughs> I, I guess or could, whatever it could be both. I would want. I was gonna say Blair, but I would never want to wear Blair. You know who the I want to see? Dorfs? You know who I mm-hmm. want to see get a sneaker deal is Nate because I bet they would be like so. They would be like just regular sneakers. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like Nate <laughs> is like so clean ass soccer shoes. <laughs> so boring that he would be like, yeah, I have a sneaker line. It would just be like, what a waste. <laughs> I kind of think Vanessa. I feel like her outfits were pretty crazy to oh, this yeah. episode. Terrible. And her I'm like just terrible. real curious to see yeah, what yeah, her yeah. sneakers would look I, like. I, I, yeah, she, she would have some wild sneakers. Crazy necklace God, on in this style. one. Was terrible. Yeah. I don't wear the bathed in ones. Like, the Carter the, the cards and bathed in ones. Yeah. <laughs> I wear the Chuck Basses. <laughs> the Chuck Basses. <laughs> the Chuck Bass. Oh, yeah. They're like Chuck. They'll be like the Chuck uh, Taylors, but. A little fancy. <laughs> a little fancy. Um, all right, that's it for the news today, and that's it for the show, ladies. <laughs> ladies, ladies, please plug away. So it's called M Joy. <laughs> um, yeah, check out our podcast also on the uh, Headgum Network. Too scared and watch. This is a headgum podcast. We, this is headgum podcast. We've had Carl on. We're having Lamar on. Yeah, I'm it's so be scared. Some... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's great. If you like scary movies, you can listen to it, and you'll still get to enjoy scary movies. If you if you're not a big scary movie person, but you just are curious, like that's me, what we, that's what that's we made what it we're for. there for. Mm-hmm. And also, if you just want to hear some regular ladies talk, <laughs> 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 that's a big part of what we do. We're just. We're just three people in the world who talk to each other and record it. That's mm. right. And who doesn't want to hear that? Who doesn't want to hear Everybody that? Everybody <laughs> wants to hear that. Um, we've had, yeah, we've had, we've had these guys on uh, PFT's great episode. Yep. Um, cause some episodes with our great friend Betsy Starro, always a delightful guest. Oh my gosh, oh, yeah. um, she's the best. It's, yep. it's a fun time. We getting it in. We getting it in. We getting oh. it in, everybody. <laughs> everybody, so we getting it in here. It's so fun uh, talking. Thank to you. Y'all. This is this such is a fun episode. Thank, thank you, guys you so for much for coming us. in and talking to us. Uh, Nelson Mandela. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we Johannesburg. Johannesburg. Uh, we will be back next week. Same bat time. Same <laughs> bass channel. <laughs> uh, please listen keep listening follow yeah. us on Instagram at XOXOGospelGames underscore podcast yeah. send us your user spotted we love to get them we love to see them don't send spoilers in the DMs that's not nice uh, they feeling bad now you, you really made them feel for our great guest Emily Gonzalez Sammy Smart my co-host Lamar Wood Hi. Rochelle Shell on the ones and twos the wheels of steel myself Doctor Carl Fart. (laughs) (laughs) We appreciate y'all. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. That was a headgum podcast.